One of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, fresh back from Toronto. Have you ever played the greased up watermelon game in the pool? Is no. the question that Josh McCoogan just asked before we went live to Nick Scorpio. 30 uh, minute pre show. Joining us for the second time in the Game Over Greggy Show, Josh McCuga. Yeah. Welcome, Thank home. You for having Welcome me. home. I appreciate The it. better Nick Scarpino is here. <laughs> I agree. I love I being agree. here with you. And then rounding out the group, the verified one, Tim Geddes. Let's hear this. So explain the rules of greased up <laughs> okay, watermelon so, in the pool. You guys ever played that? You asked us that like it was like, did you guys ever play hopscotch when you were kids? <laughs> right. So there was, I went to high school with a girl, grade school, all this stuff. Her name was Randy. And she Randy. had a pool. And, and you know, having a pool in your backyard in Pittsburgh was a rarity. I mean, nobody had a pool because it's only warm like three Hell on upkeep, there, Riley. Right? The pool's gonna freeze. Yeah, it's gonna it's crack the foundation. Well turn it into a hockey rink in the wintertime. Sure. So she has this pool, and her mom's like, "All right, so we throw the greased up watermelon in the pool, and then the first person to be able to get it and take it out of the pool wins. And you go and like it's really slippery, so you can't get it out of the pool. And you got a bunch of kids wrestling over a watermelon, and then the kid that finally gets it out of the pool wins." There's <laughs> nothing, you know, Weird. unsafe about that. Yeah, no, or hey, let's have all these fucking dumb kids go down into the depths of this pool. No, have them Tim, fight. Watermelons float. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do they really? Yeah, they float. Oh, yeah, yeah, They're floating. Yeah, that makes Did sense. you ever crack one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say that seems more the problem yeah. I have is Randy's. Then there's dad. watermelon everywhere exactly. in the pool. The filter's it's in the all filter, clogged. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. the grease probably not great to be in the water either. <laughs> no. Whatever, whatever high grade industrial grease Randy's mom is greasing this you thing up with. You said junior high into high school. Like yeah. that's the last time I want these greased up kids all over each other. Yeah. Exactly. Randy, get in there and wrestle your three guy friends for that greased up watermelon. <laughs> I will They're say not in for the watermelon. Mom. Randy is a name for a girl. Hot. Yeah, that's a hot name. It, it is, yeah. especially when it ends in an I. Oh, oh, yeah. she, did she did she sign it with a heart? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep. One of those. What's Randy do now? One of those. I don't know. If Smoke three kids, packs probably. a day. <laughs> <laughs> Couple tattoos. Play greased up watermelon this summer. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's an above ground pool now. It's just kind of trashy <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that, went dark. that just got really cruel. Really that, was a, that was an interesting wrinkle to the story. <laughs> the above ground pool. That I is, like that. That was always the worst. Oh god. Oh, you got a pool in your room? Oh, it's an above ground. <laughs> I got to cry. That's all we do now. That <laughs> rickety fucking. <laughs> Ladder. Stupid ass ladder. I'm jump off them. the edge. The edge cracks. <laughs> yeah. It's like bad boys. You gotta do it just... like as soon as you squat down, you slip out and you yeah. hit your shins, tumble in, hopefully into the water, if yeah. not backwards. All particularly. the yard around the pool is just soaking wet yeah, it's because disgusting. it disgusting. Really mud. Drain well. Yeah, yeah, God. Well, it's Kevin's backyard. Brutal. <laughs> oh, yeah? All the time. Did hey, Kevin have an above ground pool? It was of a lot of did. gun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of gun? Oh, uh, no. Did I insult Kevin with the above ground pool? Kind no, of? no, 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 we didn't have pools this out. That's just not a thing. Yeah, okay. So I don't you know, know why. Backyards. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand how my parents decided. Let's get a. I, you know what? Someone gave us the pool. Uh, classic yep. Kevin Koala way. Someone was just like, you how want How do you it? transport that? Uh, I mean, it, it like completely. Yeah, it would fall it's apart. Like, you would break it down. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, okay alcohol's okay. kicking in real good. Yeah, we can I'm hear pouring, I'm pouring these drinks deep. Yeah. Well, okay. For all Kevin If you're not a listener, this room. <laughs> Nick Scarpino had a dream come well, true today when Josh McCuga walked through the door. <laughs> it was the best present <laughs> It was a surprise. Watch the morning show. It was a beautiful surprise. What was the name of the morning show today? Uh, it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> With Josh McCuga. You have to find out what is and what it looks like. And it is kind of what it looks like. Um, it's actually exactly And so it looks Nick's like. been on cloud nine and decided he wanted to pour some cocktails today. Well, Wait. yeah, what happened was... Uh, it's like a holiday. We're in the holiday season. Yeah, we're in the, we're, we're in the beginning of the holiday season. We're actually at the tail end of my, one of my favorite holidays, which is Halloween. It's almost happening tomorrow, uh -huh. which is sad. Well, uh, so Greg I have a question about Halloween. Yeah. So <laughs> Halloween, it's a costume people say thing. it's a... <laughs> all it's Hallows, all Hallows Eve. Eve. So night. what is this then? Is, is this... Hollows Eve, Eve? I have no idea. Yeah. Isn't this witching night or some Devil's shit like night that? Devil's tonight. night. Throw eggs, t toilet paper Mischief trees, stuff night. like that. Yeah. Oh my god, shit, you guys want to wanna egg the comic experience? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should invite him to the party, too. Aransky lives in L.A. now, Kevin. Yeah, he's been gone for a long time, Kev. <laughs> Did you get kicked by a mule, too? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the alcohol or the mule kick? <laughs> it's pretty much a Moscow mule he's drinking, so. Kevin's yeah. got, like, Kevin's, like, got amnesia. He's like, when's Colin coming into work? <laughs> he's like, look at me, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy, that's cool. I didn't know we were having community day. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Greg. Shouldn't you be working at your other job, cleaning the fish? <laughs> Where's the Jerry Square? 
<laughs> oh man. You posted that picture on Instagram and somebody I think in the comments said I thought that was Colin and I got sad and I was like, Oh man, what a what a downer. <laughs> like, oh sorry, dude. That's <laughs> my <laughs> bad. That's my bad on that uh, one. So anyways, now are you drinking because you said earlier you're doing no, a bourbon not, diet virgin. Drinking. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. So you're just enabling. Yeah. Because you're fine. bartending for Kevin. He's forgotten the last five years of his life. Kevin, Arancy I, left like two months ago. Arancy's yeah. been dead to us for a long time. Remember? That's true. I talked that to him true. like two days ago. <laughs> He's been dead to us. He's helping us out with that IGN stream. Dead to us is I what heard. I heard. Into what I'm. Oh, it's not doing. just an IGN stream. I feel like this is one of those sponsorships that we need I'm to wait, talk. I'm waiting more for the about. for for the official like for him to give me the artwork before we talk about what it really is. But we're allowed to say, yeah, do it. I, I mean, I say, I mean, especially with this the pre-show stuff, and like do when it. this goes live, it's gonna be way too late. It's fair. But IGN got sponsored by Taco Bell. Mm -hmm and Xbox and hired us to host a thing with Brian Altano. And when you look at the logo, it's just like a million colors where it's just like Taco Bell purple, Xbox green, IGN red, kind of funny blue. It's beautiful. Just all together like a real shitty Power Rangers. I was gonna say, power, we're coming to Megazord. And it's up. just like, this is kind of a dream come true. It, it required us to leave our former employer to do our own thing, to eventually get hired by them for Taco Bell. That it's my favorite thing about this is we're finally working for Taco Bell and it feels like coming home. Uh, the only other thing that we've better than that is if D Diet Coke stopped, you know, we've been flirting, they've been we've been playing, they've been playing hard to get, they've yeah, been playing man. hard to get. Clearly. You know what? I'm not a student anymore, Diet Coke. We can bang, you know, we can bang. Jesus Christ. Diet it, Coke's baby. like that hot Let's teacher. Let's bang. I, my dream job has always been I want to be in the room when somebody's like, um, so we were fooling around last night and um, came up with this idea for an egg taco. What it is is this shell is an egg and everybody in the room is like <laughs> did you it's, it's an egg taco they did it they perfected it and we did it and then it goes to the world and that guy's at home just like i want to be that guy sure, i want to yeah. be the guy that came sure. up with the double down it's chicken chicken Hell with yeah, chicken dude. yeah yeah she's just a chicken man. I want. I want to know who came up with the McRib. He's like, it's just meat. What's that the story like with the rib? guy who came up with the uh, hot and spicy or the the, flaming hot Cheetos? Yeah, flaming hot Cheeto. Right, like a janitor. Where they make yeah, a movie about it? They, oh, it's good. It's well, it seems like it's a pretty simple story of him working there, and then he like knocks something over on him, and he ate him, and these are great, and then he showed it to somebody, and then they're like, "You're fucking here, you go, a bunch of money." He's like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, but I think no, he no, also he came up with the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. I think that's mm. the movie. That's I'm confused out. by what movie we're talking about. I don't about. know either. Mm. I don't know. Is your chair even lower than usual? Or is it just the giant bottle of vodka that's doing a magic? I think Josh for some reason are really low. Josh, put your chair below. Oh. There's a crisis going on right now that, that I'm kind of you. dealing with over text. It's fine. What's wrong with your mom? Things are happening. You're actually, is it, who it's gave a Photoshop of you in a not, presidential it's, shooting it's this time? It's not my mom. Um, but I was looking down, and in the middle of it, Gia texted me a link. So Gia isn't part of the She's crisis? She's not part of the crisis. And I look, and I'm it's like, fuck, I need to click on this right now, because this is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Sure. Actor William Daniels, a.k.a. Mr. Feeny from Boy Meets World. This doesn't end the way you think it's going. Okay, thank God, God. Thank you. I thought. Wait, wait, Foiled wait, a guess? burglary uh, in his home in the San Fernando Valley. William Daniels, the 91-year-old actor, most famously known for his role as Mr. Feeney on the 90s ABC sitcom Boy Meets World, foiled a burglary in his home in Los Angeles. The LAPD told BuzzFeed News that officers responded to a call at around 9.30 p.m. Saturday about an intruder attempting to break into Daniels' residence. The actor's wife was also reportedly in the home at the time. In a Little. statement from Daniel's publicist, the actor frightened the intruder by reacting swiftly and turning on the lights in his home <laughs> when the back door was forced open. So did he attack the guy, or did he, he just, just no. turn on the he lights? He turned on the lights. He, he looked like a cockroach. Like the cockroach this the guy lights, is. Dude. Will Friedle ran out of the <laughs> <laughs> ran out of it. He was there to steal an exam yeah. that they needed to take tomorrow. I, the thing about that is that I don't believe is that he moved swiftly. No, right, don't be insulting, Mr. Feeney. All right, that's not insulting him. Have you ever seen that man move swiftly? I, uh, I mean, I don't hang out with him enough. I did when Corey tried intent. to jump his fence and yeah, exactly. You damn kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What was I'm, the kid's name that they got rid of after like season two? Is the nerdy kid? Was it Farkas? No, to, uh, 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 Minkus. 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 Yeah. Minkus. And then Minkus. he came back. Then back. Yeah, and then they brought him back. Because that was the thing about Boy Meets World, a brilliant show brilliant. that that understood how to play around with exactly when mm -hmm. Minkus came through the other side, like where the cameras were. You remember this? He walked through and they're like, Minkus, you haven't seen in years. He's like, Oh yeah, well, I've been on the other side of school. And they're like, The other side. And they look at the camera. We don't go over there. And he's like, Minkus, like, all right, I gotta go back. Hi, Mr. Turner. <laughs> and then like walked off into the camera again. So brilliant. The, um, but on Family Matters, the one sister just walked upstairs and was never seen sure. again. She that happened was, on Boy Meets World as well. She came back though. But then she Morgan came back. Came back. Yeah, that was the later. longest time out. Mm -hmm. Wait, what happened great. to the Family Matters sister? They just wrote her out. Wrote her off. Wrote her out. She there ended up doing porn too, right? Yeah, she ended mm -hmm. up doing mm -hmm. porn. Same as Corey's girlfriend, that the uh, what's her name, Maitland Ward, or maybe it was the older brother's boyfriend. Uh, she was 
forget what the name of her character, Boy? but she was a major character on on Boy Meets World. She now does like a ton of softcore stuff. Oh my god. Dude, Fuck, her, what was her name? Sean's girlfriend? Sean's Angela? girlfriend. Angela. Yeah. What? Yeah. Curly hair girl? Yeah. Yeah. It was really? blonde, now it's red. She does a lot of like very risque no, cosplay. Not Angela. Oh, you're talking about Matthew Lawrence's girlfriend. Um, Rachel. Is it Rachel? Rachel. That, yeah, from yeah, when they had their own apartment or whatever. Yeah. She moved in as the, the third shows. roommate for a while. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Yeah. And now she she does like very, very risque cosplay. She does like string bikini Darth Vader. Sure. Oh, it's, right. you know, it's sure. pretty impressive. So, just, so she interest. does cosplay. She do, well, yeah. Yeah. It's like and then she does softcore on Snapchat and or Pornhub or Good X videos, whatever. You, whoever you guys are advertising with, I'm not sure. Who we advertising with? Well, I, well, currently I'm looking into advertising with X videos because I Googled it. Top 100, like what is the top porn site? And X videos is the top porn site. Okay. Very is that close according second. to xvideos.com? Uh, it's according to xvideos.com, number one, top porn sites. <laughs> xvideos.com, number one. No, it was according I'm sure to whatever, browsers would fight you on that one. It's whatever the first link was when I, when I Googled top porn sites. Yeah, what does top mean? I just, I, in terms of traffic, the I just want the, I want the most broadest traffic range in the continental United States that I possibly get. What is our payroll. threshold for the money we're willing to sink in? We've never what paid for I'm advertising going to, I'm going to start with $100 mm. a day and see if a that day. gets us the market penetration that we want. <laughs> well, the campaign will be yeah, over yeah, yeah, one yeah. week. I'm thinking from Monday to Friday to see where we're at. Now I'm thinking if this goes well, here's my grand idea. Tim. Grand we idea, can, everybody. Go. Uh -oh. Write it down. This goes awesomely. We get pick up on it. Oh my God, those guys are geniuses for for uh, promoting their stuff on porn. It's an untapped resource because right now all they want. Now here's here's the dumbest part of porn advertisements is they're just advertising other porn yep. on the porn. So mm -hmm. Why sure. would I click on your stupid porn yeah, advertisement I'm if I'm already watching the, watching the fucking the truth, porn? The truth is, and like as somebody it's that an studies, untapped market that studies the internet and like like click culture and theories and all this stuff. Why is it that the the advertised stuff is always the perfect thumbnail? Well, I don't think they've nailed it. It's always the thing that I want, and you can never find that oh, one. Oh, that thumbnail. The algorithm you're, is. You're, you're talking about the like, the like thumbnail underneath the video. I think Nick's talking about the like the stupid cam girl stuff that like. Yeah, it's always it's they always oh, talking about pre rolls. I'm talking. Yeah, pre we're gonna run oh. pre rolls because pre my idea, my well, the idea that Greg and I have. Yeah, I, I, actually, I like how I got cut out of this. I had this idea months ago. We talked. I talked. <laughs> no, I sent an email. Developed yeah, this what idea happened? months what ago. Happened no, to the email, you tweeted you at Pornhub. And said, never, no, hey, I got an email. Hub. on my email. Hey, at Pornhub, how do I advertise on you? And that was as far as it went with it. I'm now going through the process of signing us up for Traffic Junkie, and I want to spend a hundred dollars a day for a week and see if that gets us the market penetration. I mean, what porn time? Porn time? Like oh, nighttime? it's got to be in the nighttime is the right time. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, People that shit happens shit all the time. Just but the optimal day. time. I'm saying around the world, it's nighttime all the time at some place. You know what I'm talking about? So this is what I'm saying. Though, so the question is, do we do it by geo or do we just let it go? Because what I think is <laughs> the nighttime is the right time. The nighttime is the right time. You guys with the perfect camera. Bro, that stuff happens all the time. Like, he was so excited about knowing that it happened all the time. <laughs> Someone should be on your jacking off right now. Yeah. It's true. Now. I like, I wonder how many people in the world <laughs> Are climaxing. jacking off right now? Like at this moment? Well, they say there's it's like kind a, of a fun thing to think. There's about. like a kid born every second, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to assume that for every kid born, there's at least three or four knuckle rockets that are going unchecked that are just hitting <laughs> the ground. <laughs> knuckle rockets? Knuckle Did you just come out with that? No, that's okay. awesome. My brother really? used to I appreciate that Nick got so excited for this advertising campaign because he was excited for the people who would tweet out that they saw it. Yeah, and I'm the like, I don't know people, if you understand how pornography <laughs> ads no, no. work. There will it's be one or two situations. There will be one or two best friends out there that are not ashamed of it like okay. myself who would be like you guys are fucking this is fucking funny okay. and some my, my my grand scheme for this is that it gets we're the first people to ever do this because I've watched so much porn You're and right, I've dude. only ever seen camsters.com they're the only fucking people <laughs> that thought to, and this is billions of people watching porn this isn't a completely untapped market now one, most people would say hey we don't want to tap that market because we don't want to be associated with porn no, we, we are care. not we worried about that on this no, show we don't give a shit so if we can draw I feel like conservatively and these are just my, my numbers based on all my experience before running pre ads we can get 10 million subscribers yep. to our channel because yeah, we we're going to be honest users. about it right yeah. just like yeah. the knock on the glass of like hey yeah. Yeah. This is only last you maybe three minutes. Afterwards, come watch a podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come what else you got to see in review? You yeah. you you you're, you're jacking off to porn. I jack off to porn. I like Marvel movies. Odds are you like Marvel movies too. Come watch our podcast. I know right it. now you think you're gonna want to watch more after you're done because that looks tantalizing. Trust me, you're not gonna want it. The Save moment it it's for over, tomorrow, it's buddy. Over. Exactly. I know, I know I'm not gonna benefit from this idea, 
but can I be in the writer's room for it? Yeah. yeah. No, you don't understand. <laughs> if this works, I want to have a campaign. My thought behind this is we do multiple ads if this works. Mm-hmm. And if by works, I mean if we think this is funny and want to keep doing it. And then I want to do holiday themed ads. Oh. So we're all maybe dressed up as pilgrims for Thanksgiving. Ooh, sexy maybe pilgrims. one's a sexy Santa Claus with, with sexy Mrs. Claus. Mm-hmm. You know, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Sky's the limit. Yeah. How, how do you feel about if I said sexy Easter bunny? Exactly. I, I mean, I think you nailed that perfectly. Thank you. You know, I mean, the Thank furry you. community is huge. They're huge. We, we obviously they don't, know that. We can't ostracize them. The largest furry convention in the entire world is in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, oh. end of July every year. Have you been? No, I've not been. Let's uh, go. Have you been around it? I have. I took an Uber, and the guy was like, oh, thank God you're not a furry people. And I was like, what a do you mean? He's like, people. I've been taking furries around all weekend, and they are crazy. I've had to kick two people out for hooking up in the back. It's just getting out of control. Uh, all right. Yeah, go right here? Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's all I want to be here. Yeah, I, mean, that's that's what I, want to sex well, I say yeah. we go. Yeah. I say we go and we dress. We do the bare minimum. Oh, that's not going to be insulting, but like just like a furry bra and panties Nick, and we go and we're furries. They mm. have a whole like lifestyle and set of rules that we don't understand. Yeah. We learn. You we don't want to send know. the wrong message. You, we you learn. Send the we wrong learn. Message. Like you're going to fucking learn. I don't trust that at all. I think we could have really, I think we have instructions First for off, a video game. <laughs> Greg and I went to a town <laughs> last weekend that no one's even ever heard of and mm-hmm. we rocked that place. Toronto? Toronto? Yeah. yeah it's a small little town. Because of us. We've been talking about it all day. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small little town and they were like, we've never seen Americans before and we sold them on America. Which okay. is crazy. They yeah. were like, dude, I'm in. How do we sign up? Like, what, what do we need to do? And I was like, you just come down. Hang out. Before we transition off the topic of pre- and post-roll advertisements, I'd like to p- bring you back with me, all right? Just a, it's, it's last week, all right? Yeah. Just, it was the middle of yeah, last week-ish. Like talking. Maybe somewhere else, right? I'm, 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 While we were doing this show, uh-huh. news had broken. Ooh. That was Monday, if you remember. Roman Reigns mm. had to vacate his WWE championship because he had to go battle leukemia, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, what? what's going on there? Went to WWE.com, found the video, clicked the video, watched this very emotional speech from Roman Reigns, you know, talking about like he's done it before, he'll do it again, he's going to do this, he'll be it's back, great. he's great. It was really good, right? One over the crowd. It ends, and immediately a wrestler I'm not familiar with pops up and goes, you've never heard a fart like this before! <laughs> and it was this ad for these like farting dolls that WWE had a thing, and I was like... I, mean, I might not have clicked on the monetize button for this one, but I've been there when it happens. It goes hey, wrong. Yeah. You know hey, what man, I mean? I monetize everything. Monetize it all. Monetize it all in that way. You can see you did it that way. Like, like God's that way. Yeah. What is the? So it's not. It's, it's not mom. It's not Gia. It. It's, what is the disaster? I, why it, do you have no to? Because I'm playing. Not, guess who? Is it business related? It's not business related. Not business. Is it friends? It is friends. Do it's got to be is? James. Okay. Is it James Burke. No. Is it Colonel? It's not. All right, Nick, it's, this stop isn't a using names. Thing. What is your deal? Why would also, you do that? It's not Colonel. Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's Colonel. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the intro to the show. Then we're going to come back. You're going to tell us everything. Mm-hmm. Okay? Great. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes three. Best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic of conversation for your amusement. <laughs> if you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can get each and every episode early. As early as you like. As early as us recording it, and then on Friday goes up as a big video, big MP3. Of course, there's a pre and post show live, pre and post show on the VOD on Patreon.com slash kind of funny. But if you don't want to give us any money, you can get the bare minimum show <laughs> the following <laughs> Friday. <laughs> YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Podcast services around. It's like the Honda the LX of shows, you know what I mean? Today, I want to thank our Patreon producer, DJ Kento. <laughs> DJ Kento! <laughs> And our sponsor is Blue Apron and 4 but we'll talk about that later. For now, Tim, what is the crisis? Tell the us. The crisis is things are really bad. Idris Elba might not be the bad guy in That's, Fast. This, isn't, this isn't the real thing. This so isn't why the making real that up? Totally oh. making that up. Do we we talked about Idris Joey. Elba earlier today. As James Bond. And man, as Joey. James Bond. And it just got me thinking, like, we're close to this movie. That's my To James Hobbs and Shaw? To Hobbs and Shaw. Dude, have you fucking seen The Rock lately? Like, he got j- extra shredded for no, Hobbs and Shaw. Okay, Nick. You can't he, marble looked, marble. You got to take he, his away. Get he, him out of my sight. He has looked the exact same for the last six that's years. A, that's a strong call. He's like, I just did an 18-week super shred cleanse. And I'm looking at him like, oh, you look just like you did in San Andreas. So I, I haven't seen. Okay, when he stepped on the screen. Oh, when you peak, you peak. You know yes. I mean? When he stepped on the screen for the first Fast and the Furious movie he was in, which five. I think was Fast 6. It was Fast 5. Oh, yeah. Okay? Never forget. So, I mean. Dude, he's looked like that forever. No, go, but like, go back. His abs, I think he got more defined. And I don't know this. if you guys watched the crown. Go, go to that's go to Princess his, uh, Margaret in the crown. It's gonna sound weird, but that one right there where he's holding his kid. Jesus look at his Christ. fucking abs yeah, in this that fucking picture. Look, dude. he is so red. <laughs> now here's what Watch I'd really like to call it. Kevin. Go back to his 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 feet in general because I'm worried about him. Much in the same way, oh. Nick Scarpino 
has That's fallen it. off the wagon and is partying every day. Rock cut. is having a so cheat meal every, every day. No, Remember Sunday. when I said go back, Kevin? I wanted you to hold that. It's Sunday. <laughs> it used to be yes, it used to be Sunday. How can there be two Sundays that back? You know the Rock posts no. every uh, fucking day. First you're off, gonna tell me you're Kevin, such a fucking fake Rock fan. Kevin, you're click a on fake Rock fan. He knows that's why he hasn't come on our show yet. Let's call a spade a spade. His oh. cheat meal is sushi and cookies. Yeah. That is his Sunday. That's seven days ago. It's all days. Show, look at this picture where he's ripped on, ble, below the cookies. Oh, okay, look at this one. Fuck me. He's looked like that since the first Fast and the Furious. No, but his abs no, he, he never really had a six ever. pack, and now he's, got, he's getting so? that six pack. He looks yeah. better than ever. Yeah, he, he does. does. Actually, these dates are working out too. I'm wrong. Hey, re, Kevin, go back Click to the, on the, the next little sushi. Girl Click on the top sushi photo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it checks out. That, math, that math's wrong. Rock, I apologize, and I take it back. <laughs> Click on the little girl picture. Oh, this caption is I know, amazing. I love it yeah. so much. Well, it's because it's, it's so sweet until Kevin, so and then sweet. he gets Kevin Hart at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's well, how we get our Kevin. Did you, see it did you see the other one where he actually someone came in and put yeah. Kevin Hart in there? It's fucking on. Yeah, I saw this one. It was really Hilarious. cute. Hilarious. Really cute. I, I, I love that. I, it, Here's the question. Is it fun to be The Rock? Yeah. And now, before you jump into, yes, of course it is. Three you're on the road all the time. Mm -hmm. Three hours. You're exhausted all the time. You got to work out all the time. You only get to eat what you want once in a while. I don't hard. know, man. Then you get used to it. Everything else, though, is taken care of for you. Sure, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yes, he's busy. Uh, his wife is his manager, right? His ex ex, ex wife, wife, ex -wife, ex -wife is his manager, yeah, yeah. business partner, yeah. business partner. The you know everywhere he goes, I guarantee you, in his contracts, there is a writer that says, uh, you know, because he has that gym that he brings yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Big birth. Birth, the big birthday, yeah. He's got the gym everywhere. He's got private transportation. Everything that he wants is taken care of. He doesn't. They wake him up. He he gets a trainer at the gym. Everything is taken care of. Your life as the Rock is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Everywhere you go, everybody loves you. you. I'm telling you, I love the Rock. Anything that guy touches, besides ballers, yeah. besides what ballers, the fuck are you oh, saying right oh, now? Oh, oh. You guys like ballers? Oh, yeah, we like yeah, ballers. We like the oh. Gutenberg! You kidding me? I love Gutenberg. I love Party Down. That's the greatest Party Down episode ever, but I am not a Ballers fan. I will not. I watch. love Ballers because I just want more Entourage, and that's all Ballers yeah, is. Yeah, Ballers is an entourage kind of show. I don't know. I just, I wanted The Rock. It's candy. I man. wanted the, I wanted Ballers to be more about the, the athletes doing cool athlete stuff than it is about The Rock trying to buy a football team. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's lighthearted. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Why would they cast The Rock as the main character? If it was going about the athletes. Yeah, sounds like some ESPN. Fucking bullshit. these guys, they're knocking ladies up, leaving them, playing with their hearts, the coming Rock back is around. An ageless Be, grow up, Ricky. He, he could have been a linebacker in the show still. One hundred percent. The Rock. But this is more interesting. Okay. Because you know what I mean. You wanted more like a little like like pro. I wanted, lights. Do you remember Playmakers on ESPN? That show where the running back smoked crack before the game. Do you guys remember? I do that? actually. I do actually awesome. remember. It was a scripted yeah. show, and then the NFL kiboshed it because they said <laughs> we're not broadcasting on your channel if you, if you unless you take Playmakers off. That's what I wanted out of Ballers. I wanted Ballers to be more like a behind the scenes look at the team instead of a behind the scenes look at a financial advisor advisor for these athletes that's and how fair. bad they spend their money. Mm. Okay, that's fair. I just want that's Jungle all. Cruise. It's coming. Why? Um, Why do you want Jungle Cruise? Jungle Cruise, my favorite Disneyland ride. Great, it's a ride. It doesn't need to be a movie. Yeah. Battleship didn't need to be a movie. Great game, doesn't need to be a movie. Rihanna, best work. We'll see, dude. Let's we'll be see. honest, though. <laughs> was was Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle maybe the most underrated movie of 2016? Sure. It was time. very underrated. The biggest surprise. We saw every trailer like, no, this looks like garbage. Let me tell you, it, it was rated right where it needed to be. Because everyone went in going, I like that movie, but I'm not going to tell people I like that movie because I'm still fucking feeling the burn of Baywatch. That's not true. People came out like, Baywatch Yo. was low. Jumanji High, I'm saying it evened out. The Rock's, at, the rocks at, a, at a nice net neutral right now in my book. They watch sucked unequivocally. What Rampage was not that good either. Here's the problem with God all bless. you, as I like to call them, snobs. But you mind you all went great. in with unrealistic expectations here for Baywatch. All right, no. I don't know what you fucking expected. I saw I, I saw you guys drag Baywatch into the street, shoot it in the head, <laughs> bury it in Pet Cemetery, <laughs> raise dead. it from the dead, take its head off with an axe, and I was like, fuck, that movie's gonna be bad. I put Baywatch on Amazon Prime one day, had a lovely time. Lovely Baywatch time of is three bad movies. It doesn't understand what it's tone it wants to have. Yeah, it's a deal. serious movie sometimes. Yeah. It's a comedy some other times. And then it's just like, hey, let's just be Baywatch and look at hot people. Yeah, sometimes. which that, that part was good. That's uh, what the that's what the point of the movie was. But I wanted it to what be like it? I wanted it to be a more clever like Twenty One Jump Street, and it just didn't Absolutely. deliver. On I think that's what that. we the all trailer wanted. Let us made us think it was going to be Twenty One Jump Street, and then it just it just didn't work. It's not like it's a bad movie. It's just not it just didn't work. Uh, I, have you guys seen Rampage? Mm -mm. Yeah. Again, Rampage is fun, but it's exactly what you think it's going to be. Yeah. And I watched it like over three plane flights, and I was like, I'm okay with this. You <laughs> it's know? Kong I was like, Skull I Island with this. more animals, yeah. basically. Yeah, with, a, with two other animals. But for Baywatch, I'm with Greg on this one. It's like, all right, it's a stupid lifeguard movie, just like the show was. There's a, barely a plot. I mean, they're like sort of trying to... And then but there's that's stupid the idiots. There's, there's too much plot. 
There's not barely a plot. There's a lot of plot. Way too much. There's way too in many Baywatch, plot lines. Yeah. There's a lot of things happening. There's a, there's a lot of shit going on. Here's what you guys don't understand, all right? <laughs> Me and McCoogs, right? Yeah. We understand what it's like to be bros. And when you see Zach Efron, when you see The Rock, yeah. when you see the pudgy lifeguard, when you I'm see Kelly Rohrbach. That, that pudgy lifeguard did not need to be in it. You know what? That plot line is dumb. You know what, Kevin? Kevin, Kevin, you know what, Kevin? Kevin, you know what, Kevin? When you have the rock in a motion picture, no one else needs to be correct. In it. You yeah, tell true. me I give you an, I give you 90 minutes of the rock fucking one man playing it out there, no, doing see, all the different rock the thing, voices. The yeah, rock fucking needs, in. He needs one other person. He needs Kevin Hart. He needs Kevin Hart. The Kevin, Kevin Hart had Zach Efron. He had, Zach. He Zach. had the Zach guy. I feel like, but see, I feel like Jack this is me. Efron. You're this is right. me completely shooting from the hip. And you know me. I don't know anything what I'm fucking talking He's about. He's jumping Stacey out the plane right now. Is the parachute down? We're going to find <laughs> Who out. Who cares? No one cares. But I feel like The Rock and Zach didn't, like, they weren't vibing. No, they, they, just, they, they just didn't they vibe. vibe. They vibed uh, fine. No, they because vibe. I've never when met. you go see him do a movie with, they vibed with uh, Kevin Hart. Real yeah, hard. of course. They, they're like, they they're need to do just do yeah, that's they're total, so good. That's like cutting off your right arm and then being reunited with your right arm in a movie. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Oh my God, I missed you. <laughs> I've been jacked up in six months. I don't know how to use the left hand. It's like Venom okay, and Eddie Brock. Yeah, all right, exactly you know what I mean? They're there together. They're, is, me they're meant Zach to be. Is still jacked? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my God. Are you jacked. kidding me? Yeah. I haven't seen him recently. Wait, really? I thought he was, I thought he slimmed down for that knee roll. Is there any movies... Because I, I love real bad movies, and I'd like to support pretty much every movie. So when you guys talk about like hating The Last Jedi or things like that, and I don't want to bring it up, and I'm sorry. Uh, don't, 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 don't say it. Don't say it. Is there any it's movie out there? Because I only have one in my lexicon. I know that I absolutely hate, and I, I can't watch it. But other than that, I try and find like the positive in just about every movie I see. Well, Josh. I mean, to, to this day, I said on the last time I was here, to this day, my favorite movie is Bad Boys 2. I love Bad Boys well, 2. It's amazing. Right, it's fantastic. Wait, wait, uh, excuse me. You're saying that like people are expected to not like Bad Boys well, 2. Well, there's a lot of people out there like, you know the film snobs that I work with at Collider, who I love. They're amazing people. Oh, but like, like, hey, hey, hey Makuga, you can't like take the whole Cuban army down. I was like, it's Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett. Yeah. They can do whatever they want in any movie <laughs> ever. They literally invaded another country. They invaded yes. Cuba in yeah. the last one, and they got away with it. Uh -huh. and it was amazing. It's, it was I mean, it's a amazing. pretty perfect movie. Yeah, he's still. So jacked. wait, what movie do you not like? No, no, I don't like Jesus Indiana Jones: uh, oh, Kingdom okay. of the Crystal Skull. Okay. That movie cool. really upset me because my favorite movie. trilogy is Indiana Jones. So Knowledge you, was their treasure. For you, are there movies out there that like you legit hate? One hundred percent. Three to tango. Uh, okay. Remember this piece of shit? You know <laughs> what I mean? Well, with, what Matthew, the fuck? with uh with the guy from Friends. I'll let you feel it all out, yeah. Fuck no, uh Nev Campbell. Yep. Uh, what's Matt, his name? Matt LeBlanc? No, not no, Matt LeBlanc. Uh, uh, Matthew, Matthew, Perry. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. Yeah. And who was the third? Was it, it was the, the guy from the practice. Uh, Dylan McDermott. Is that uh, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, this movie. That's Three to Tango. And it, here's why I probably hate Three to Tango. The friends is that it's a, very, friends. it's a very high level maybe movie. I saw it as a junior in high school flying to France oh, when I could not time. sleep in the middle of the flight. <laughs> and it was on. And so it was one of those I tossed and turned and finally I was like, I guess I'll just watch this movie. And and hated this movie. And so I have not gone back to watch Three Throw to Tango. The ice. <laughs> but let's be honest. Now you can just, uh, you know what is, is great about Three to Tango though, What's if that, you look buddy? at it, is there aren't many <laughs> there aren't many more uh, uh you know movie covers that are more nineties than that oh, movie God. cover right sure. Well it's because of Nev sure. Campbell. It's, Nev yeah. Campbell defined the nineties and anything right. she's in. Well, that. Th that whole crew defined the nineties. You had Dylan McDermott and Boston uh, legal or uh was that was that with Yeah, show? Boston Legal, yeah. Boston Legal, right? God, what a fucking show. It's great show. You remember the shows you watched Boston Legal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my Boston God, Legal. what a great fucking show. Then what Matthew Perry, who who is my favorite Friends character. I, 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 you, He's so I, good. I love them all, but Love he is my favorite Friends character. Fantastic. And Nev Campbell, who may have had the greatest... Oh God. In, if Rod? we're looking at decades... Yeah. Look at that hair. Nev Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. You know what, Joe? Nev Campbell, get on the level. Bring Nev Campbell bring and, and, and Freddie Prince, Prince Jr. had the best 90s in my... Joey, in take my, my glass to him. Sarah Michelle Geller too. Yeah. And I feel like when you, you combine the two... Uh, in marriage. I'm not going to say a bad... A step down, right? Another person, Elijah Dushku had a pretty good night. Oh, great, great grandies. Grandies. You know what I mean? Great Kirsten great Dunst, grandies. man. Shannon Elizabeth. Kirsten Dunst. I know we're jumping around a little bit. Shannon Elizabeth? Yeah, yeah. But she's no, not. This was the topic. I saw her Shannon Elizabeth random... was the topic. You got there. Yeah. yeah, I saw her in a random ass movie, right? Yeah. And Bottle uh, shot? I, I don't know what it was. There was a scene of her in a bathtub, though. Yeah, that was uh, it was all in a bar. Jack Frost. At maybe, potentially. <laughs> um, but I see this stuff happening, and I'm just like... There's someone that I am so surprised didn't blow the fuck up and just stay blown up. You're sure about she that? She had a moment. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I get what <laughs> I mean, I like her. 
But I wouldn't exactly be like, oh man, I am so shocked Shannon and Elizabeth didn't blow up. No, there so are you I, kidding I, I'm me? With, I'm with you, Zim, because American great. Pie, Shannon she and Elizabeth had that Jessica Alba was quality. just everything. And then, yeah, you're right. Like, Shannon Elizabeth, with all due respect to Shannon Elizabeth, because yes, I enjoy her work as well. Of course. Blew up just as much as I expected yeah, her to Yeah, correct, well. correct. Dude, where's my flag? Fantastic. A flash yeah. in the pan where she just made bad choice afterwards, I feel. Yeah. She had the American Pie moment that she had that, where do I go with it? What am I going to do with it? Yeah. And then made bad choice. And she just kept staying naked, which is hard. Exactly. Keep going with, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, it's hard. It's hard to do that in every weird comedy horror movie, yeah. and then expect to come yeah. back and do stuff. We're looking and at her filmography. What now. also hurt her as well was the fact that she social media really took her on a deep end. Okay, she it? was one of those Twitter people that. that was like, but uh, she it wasn't it, already gone by that point. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? It's a lot. I mean, I'm she sorry. was by the time Mixing. Twitter gets around, right? Oh, she was already a husband, but it didn't help her career oh, either. Oh, sure, she yeah. kind of crazy yeah, on social media. I feel like that yeah. by that point you're getting into like the whole. No, she wasn't racist or anything like that. It was more like uh, she would just kind of rant about some insane stuff, and then she was very sexual on social media, mm. like saying some very risque things that weren't like, they were, I mean, they, they would make me blush, but they wouldn't make people that are advertising for you guys on next videos blush. Do you yeah, know what I'm sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It sure, wasn't sure. exactly like Fox was like, you know who we should get in our new family pilot as the mom? Uh, Shannon Elizabeth. Now you want to talk about somebody, to something. somebody who Thanks, Nicholas. I thought I, was on. She's 45 years old? How old did she expect yeah, her? Was a long time ago. What do you man? want to yeah. American man. Pie was 1998. Still looks great. Oh, she's, she's fantastic. Here's, Damn, yeah. You want to talk about Listen somebody Milano-ish. who went an interesting way and then never really. Uh, Jenny McCarthy. Yeah. yeah. Jenny McCarthy. Such a thing. Singled out. Such a thing. Breaks out, right? And you're like, man, Huge. she's so overshadowing that other guy. We'll never hear from him again. <laughs> <laughs> she, she explodes. She gets her own sketch comedy show, Jenny, yeah. which was actually funny, was which was good. awesome. When, yeah. uh, you know, and then, yeah. it, but then it was the thing of Mary just like Jim Carrey. Never really. Yeah, Mary Jim Carrey. But even that was already post. Like, hey, I'm the hot thing. Yeah. Right. And then, like, then she got into the anti-vaxxing thing, and then that. But, yeah, but yeah, that's, that's like the more modern right. take on it. Yeah, but that then, was after the career kind of just kind of went. You kind of. I think you need a PR person to run your idea of like what to back charity wise if you're a megastar before you back any charities you're like hey I don't want my kids to get vaccinated and the PR's like oh, I don't know if that's a good one that vaccinations have saved millions and millions of lives yeah. I would maybe like step back on that maybe go like PETA Maybe yeah like a let's fur go like, like yeah don't wear any fur yeah. how about don't wear any fur and now she's married to Wahlberg right Donnie yeah she married to Donnie Donnie man Donnie. from Saw 2 true yeah. story before we get everyone you want to talk about there true story uh, not against our will but in one of those, hey, do you want to do this? And we're like, oh, no, you don't have to do that. And they did it. Uh, my dad and his wife drove us uh, by their house. The, the Wahlberg's house? Yeah, Jenny McCarthy and Donnie Wahlberg's house. That's Because really they creepy. live right over there. Do you guys want to see? We're like, no, that's a weird <laughs> that's thing to creepy. do. Yeah. That's Come super on, creepy. it'll be fun. All right, we're already out. So we're doing this. And it's hey, me, yeah. and Jen, me and Jen in the back. Like, is this really happening? Here's and, then, and then it was the thing of driving up and like, don't stop, don't, don't stop. stop. Oh, don't we stop. stopped. <laughs> we stopped now. We're yeah. just gawking at their house. Dude, ha! there's a. So we, used to go, we used to go to Tahoe. So in if the you're lit summers. watching Jenny or Donnie, I'm sorry. Nice house. <laughs> oh, beautiful house. What's the address? No, don't say that. <laughs> one year, apparently, one year, it's well known <laughs> in the burbs. One year, I went to, to Tahoe and we were just like on the little fucking lake or whatever, and I saw this the like little giant, lake. The it's little just lake, huge. Yeah. Yeah. This like uh, giant mansion, and on the gate it said Hanson. And I was so stoked because I thought Hanson lived there because I was Wait, like seven okay. or eight. I don't know. I was a fucking dumb kid for sure. <laughs> but I was so excited that our hotel was near Hanson's yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> the Hanson brothers, that's another one where you're like, who, who could have thought that their career would just evaporate? It, it hasn't. Are they still going? Are you kidding? They, dude, they back, sell man. out. They re-released Mbop as a like acoustic like hipster bullshit. Oh, I got to listen to that on the ride home. Yep. Carbon Electra. Carbon Electra was a, was around for a while. She did, dude, she had her moments. She and was. Shout out to them. Yeah. And this is interesting because we are talking about people of their time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of like, yeah, they definitely got in, and I hope they made their money and got out. Right. But it was that thing of yeah, Carbon Electra. She. What was, happened there? Because I remember well, she. She did the reality show. Yeah. With her husband. David Navarro. Navarro. Yeah. Okay. Is, are they still married? Until death do us part of Are they still married? Kevin, wow. I need to check. No, they're not married. Okay. He, he, he came up with his own term. He called an a- ambisexual, which meant he would have sex with anything. And that, then that got into some really weird territory. Thanks, Koji. Because he was, he was bisexual. <laughs> he's no, no, no. I'm ambisexual. I will have sex with whatever. And with like beasts? I don't know, but I, I think I'm he sure like, he thought it sounded cool. It's, yeah, he thought like, he, he was, was probably like pansexual, right? That's probably anything, yeah, yeah. any right. person that identifies as anything. Oh, 2003, 2007. 100%. Yeah. Four I, years. 
I, I waited on, uh, when I used to wait tables in New York, when I lived there, I waited on Carmen Electra like every other Thursday. She came into this restaurant all the time. Really? Were you working amazingly. The yeah, Samara? Totally, no. So, uh, it was an Italian place in, in, like, in Midtown. Gotcha. Dude, it's called Cosi. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was near a Sabaro in Times Square. No big deal. But <laughs> she... Uh, she she tipped well and was super sweet. Oh yeah, she was I'm the sure. sweetest person in the world. Her, you know who she used to come in with? Talk about somebody that was had their moment in the day. Rosie O'Donnell. Da no, Daisy Fuentes. Oh, oh fucking wow. hey. And Daisy Fuentes, Carmen Electra, hot. Daisy you know Fuentes. The name. Google was Daisy Fuentes. Striking. Like stop me in my tracks. Daisy Fuentes. Was she an MTV correspondent? Was hot. Daisy Fuentes? MTV? She was. Yeah, MTV. For a while. She was the Dan Cortez of females. Oh, Daisy, Daisy Fuentes. Fuentes was. Did she do? So good. I mean, did she gorgeous. do? Um. Yeah, she was, yeah. Well, who who co-hosted? No, Tawny Katain mm -hmm. co-hosted with Dave Coulier. Uh, not America's Funniest Videos, the second one. Wait, was Tawny Katain the one in the White Snake? White yeah. Snake on the yeah. White yeah. Car. <laughs> the one that yeah. Ricky Bobby makes it. Yeah, yeah. like Tawny Katain from that White Fuck, Snake. Fuck, what was that video? show called? <laughs> cool, uh, cool guy. Dave Coulier. I need that, Kevin. Dave right. Coulier, Tawny Katain. It was it followed it followed Tawny's right after America's Funniest Home you Videos. Guys are, these and are names I cannot spell. Just cool Google's got Dave. you. Just jump. Just jump. <laughs> What do you, what do you, what am I doing? Dave Googling? Coulier, funny videos. You'll find it. Jump. Dave. Jump. Or just look at YouTube. You I guarantee the YouTube chat's right. calling us out right You're now. You're just yelling jump. You, go give me, can you give me one of these? <laughs> just Hold jump, Kevin. I don't jump. know what that means. Shoot your shot, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Daisy yeah. Fuentes, that's a hard one to nail down because she, yes, famous. Yes, I remember her as the Dan Cortez female equivalent on MTV, but I could not tell you a show, Daisy Fuentes. No, she, 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 no, no, no. She hosted uh, House of Style. Oh, right. That does sound right. Davey, that does that sound was, right. That was, that was, that's such a nostalgic period for me. Yeah. Because I didn't, if you think I didn't pay attention to anything now, imagine me as a child in the 90s, mm. where I don't know what the fuck, I had no idea Spring Break was a thing that they did oh my all the God. time. Oh, Spring Break. I was just like, oh, this West, is cool. Uh, uh, Bill Bellamy's climbing a rock wall. That's cool. <laughs> oh, Pauly Shore's there. Like, I'm mixing up the time periods now, because I'm sure Pauly Shore hosted well before Snoop Dogg wore a Cordell Stewart jersey on stage the one time I, like a Pittsburgh Steeler fan a kid in cold Pittsburgh in the sp in, during spring break freaking out be like he's wearing a Steeler jersey we were I went to college simply to go on spring break <laughs> I love that I went to Cancun Acapulco I mean I went to all Panama City we were looking for America's Funniest People <laughs> America's is. Funniest Are People hosted Spin by Dave Cooley yeah. 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 still Googling this stuff. is the one that had the jackalope in it yeah oh yeah Dave Cooley voices of the jackalope I want to give a shout out to the host of America's Funniest Home Video Bob Saget. No, 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 the next one. Uh, the one oh, that Tom Bergeron. Yes. Yeah. Who does Who, Dancing with the Stars. Dude, I, I had to watch Dancing with the Stars recently for the first time, and I'm <laughs> watching it, and I'm just like, this motherfucker never stopped. No. He's just, he is the host with the most. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me I, don't, I don't even think he can dance. I don't, I don't know. I don't, he's the star, though. But he's the star. Mm -hmm. Him, what, who's the co-host? Julianne Huff? Is she the co-host? I, 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 I don't even know. I don't know. I know Tom Bergeron. That show is dope as hell, though. Dancing that's, with the Stars? Why didn't anyone tell me? Dancing with Stars? Yeah. Dude, it's 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 the fucking legit. I don't know like, about that. They make people I don't they know. put people through the ringer for it's that shit. Tight, man. I don't know. I might I'm There's way too much fluff. To There's a but lot Stacey of Stacey Keeler didn't win. Good. Don't care. It's over. Mm. Wrote it off. Mm. That's a that you can't say. But Cardinal she's sin. coming back. Thank you. Joey cool. Fatone killed it on the episode I was watching. Well, Joey Fatone kills it. For about for a man of his age. For about a year in LA, every blonde dog. woman I saw on the street, I was like, it's Stacey Keebler. Like, I just, I wanted to see Stacey Keebler so bad. Yeah. Every blonde, I was like, I think that's Stacey Keebler. And my buddy's like, it's not, stop saying it's Stacey Keebler. It's not Stacey Keebler. Do you Keebler. remember when Stacey Keebler dated George Clooney yes. for a little bit? And it yeah. was the best thing ever? You wanna oh. talk about, you, you wanna talk about somebody I felt like I had a personal, I, I had skin in the game with, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about Stacey Keebler, yeah. all right? Are you talking about me? Trail. Uh, I thought you were going to start with, like, you know who I thought I had skin in the game with? Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey Keebler, right? I remember her as Miss Hancock on WCW. I remember what a big deal it was when she came to oh. WWE. I remember when she was running with the Dudleys. I remember when I went to Hearn Center, Columbia, Missouri, camped outside to get my WWE tickets, got my photo taken with her and Test, all right? In which I said, can I come behind the table and get a photo? And she said, no, just everybody else before you came. Of course you can't. Come on back oh. here. And I was like, thank you, Stacey. And so when I saw her get on Dancing with the Stars, become a legitimate phenomenon, then start dating George Clooney, I'm like, perfect. That's it. Get married, sync it up. And then this Clooney bastard. Mm. I have no idea why the relationship ends. It ends, and he marries somebody else and seems to have a nice life and be a good person. Yeah. I don't like it one bit. Should have yeah. stayed with her. I agree. I felt betrayed. 
I felt like she was one of ours, and then all of a sudden she was one of theirs. You know nah, what I that's mean? what you want. We want you to ascend. Here we Not all that down. We're ascent. all down here, pit no. people, mole men, mm. and we see one of our own <laughs> break through Trash and get pandas. to the Hollywood elite. You're talking about a fucking- Oh, hey, Stacy. <laughs> and the mole man. A oh, woman. Power bomb through a table by Bubba <laughs> Ray Dudley at the Oscars? Yeah, you're uh, fucking right. Yeah, stay there forever. I, Look at her. I, you know what's I'm so funny? I'm telling you, every girl I saw at a coffee shop, I'm like, it's Stacy Keeler. I know it is. I know it's her. It's what what be the her. fuck is Stacy Keeler doing these days? She's not in a coffee I think, shop. I think she's not showing up at WWE Evolution. Tori Wilson did, though. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She kind of looks like Christine Lakin a little bit, too. She does. Oh, Christine Lakin, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's been on my show, too. Great, All right, well, it's great great fucking, you know. Friend of our shows. How many times has she been on your shows? Twice. Damn it. Wait, she's amazing. Were we going to tie him? That was the best we could have helped for. But I will, give, one. I will give Christi Christine Lake at the Christine Lake and my Don't favorite credit name, huh? was uh, the show was shooting at 7.30 p.m. and it showed up my apartment at 7.30 a.m. She's like, I'm here. I was like, oh, for fuck. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you man. think I shoot my show at 7.30 a.m., you are that sorely was, that happened, mistaken. That happened to us once at the old place. Where we were getting ready for a morning show. All right, and it was ding dong. And I was like, and it was, I opened the door and it was Gary Witta. And it was like, it's not... I knew Gary, but I didn't know Gary like now. And yeah. it was very much like, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. He came up into the house and I'm like, so yeah. And like while we're talking, I'm like, okay, my phone says, I fuck this up. Yeah. And I'm like, no, he very much fucked this up. And I'm like, so hey, here's the problem. And he's like, what? Really? And he looks at his phone. He's like, oh, bugger. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll see you oh, later. I'll be back in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm in the car. <laughs> Gary, Gary is just an ethereal being, man. He just does what he well does. Said. He just floats in and floats out. My favorite thing, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, is when Gary just stops by, doesn't say anything to anyone, walks into the back, gets a case of LaCroix, and leaves. <laughs> I love it. He, just me, he lives close enough to the studio where you just drive in, park the car. You and him tomorrow, right? Me, me and Gary, we, oh, is, oh. I'm out, it's Halloween. I'm out. Okay. I keep good. promising that I'm going to drive up here, but I keep flying because I'm going to take. I want to take some of the LaCroix from you guys. Dude, I'll send it down you to you. Send me the address. No, no, don't. That's expensive. We'll just buy it for him there. <laughs> I'll just tell him that. No, the point is to him. help you guys get rid of Here's this the Here's story. what we do, everybody. We come be on the Josh McCougar show. Yes. Oh, we do it like we do with Kevin that. Smith, where we do shows in the van driving down to the McCougar show. Yes. I'm in. Into this, yeah. I'm into this. All right, I'm into I've it. been renting another van. Greg, we, yep. We've been talking Sonar. about. We're bougie now. Yep. We can just do the podcast on the plane down there. Nope, can't do that. Can they you don't care. imagine people how much people would podcast? fucking hate us? No, we love it. They love it. We got to sit. Only the same if we had all the first class. Here's what we do. That, we I was sit, just about to say. If we got all the first Greg, class between you and me, yeah. because of our MVP stuff. Oh, I like your heads up. We we have our. The first the class upgrade. Like, yeah, they, uh, Alaska gives you these uh, vouchers that you can use them to upgrade. So if your... nobody gets the takes the first class seat and we're at the airport, we get upgraded for free. Complimentary. Okay. It's great. Okay. But more than that, we just found this out. We each per year get four free first class upgrades that we can use for anybody whenever we want. That's great. One, two, three, four. There it is. Well, then we need to buy the other side of the plane. Oh, oh, right, right. So we right, have to right. do eight total. Or what we could do is I'll get... blow all four of them. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> For a flight to LA. Or it can't no, be that no, expensive. No. Well, how much, yeah, how much we'll is, meet Makuga somewhere else. How much is first class? We have to start the podcast the second we get on the plane. What, what, so we have to like pause for the announcements. <laughs> they're like, no, uh, you turn off your electronic device. Like, we can't. It needs to be at least an hour and a half long podcast. Yeah, we have same, we have, we'd have to resync, ma'am. This is a whole thing. We already said. Yeah. Run the, a mic to the pilot. On the flight up here, I had three Southwest drink coupons that expire legitimately today. Yeah. I, I didn't time this flight like that. I didn't time it to come up here to get my last free drink coupons <laughs> to not spend $14. But she got on. I was like, uh, it was a flight from LA to San Jose, which is, I don't know, 48 minutes. Something <laughs> yes, absurdly you're spending like longer on the tarmac was, uh, than Would you, you like a drink? I was like, uh, I'd like three vodka cranberries. And she was like, what? And I was like, I've, they're going to expire. These things are going to expire. She's like, all right, no problem. And the girl sitting next to me was like, whoa. And then turned the other way. And I was like, F you. What the fuck? No, I, mean, no, I, should... I would have done the same thing. I would have like, oh, God, this guy's going to be a fucking nightmare. He had the coupon. Don't it's all stop. good. I just start doing things. Hey, you want to do a podcast right now? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me, Jessica. You guys Cooper. ever heard of the band Journey? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, though, with the with the first class uh, upgrades when you when you get them. Because they keep coming with the drinks. And they're so attentive because you you get personal you get flight attendants, person, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they just keep coming back. They got their eye on your drink. And the moment it's done, they're like, do you want another? And it's like, well, at what else. point? I do it's want just another. the point. I do no, just the point. Oh, yeah, it On the flight but, back from uh, the, the New York, when I went and did the last WWE yeah. event, or the last uh, eSports event, uh, I, got, I got the free upgrade to first class, right? But I was so exhausted that I was like, 
I just got. I'm gonna pass out. This is the plan. But I'm hungry. Do I stay awake? Yada yada yada. Free food in first class? Oh yeah. Oh, wow. And it's not the in the swill and the fucking trough they fill that they do that. It's like omelets and like this and like the, the planes. Swill. The planes are little translucent, uh, uh, little biplanes. Yeah. That you split or you split apart for uh, pepper and salt. Oh, That's great. Man. Uh, but I'm on there and I'm like, I, 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 and like the woman came on, she has a soothing voice. She's like, Hey, everybody first class, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go up. We need to help them in the back. So I'm going to let everybody nap for a while. And then when the, about an hour later, I'm going to come through, we're going to give you the food or blah, blah, blah. So I fall asleep, of course, as you do. And then I wake up to, and I fell asleep cross-legged to her squeezing my foot going, Hey, my love. Hey, my love. Yeah, and I was like, Hey, and she's like, it's time for your omelet. I'm like, okay, thank you. It was like so perfect. It was so, and then I ate it. And I gave it back to her. I fell back asleep, and then she woke me back up. She's like, "We're about to land, my love." I'm like, "Okay, thank you." My love, so I, perfect. I actually so perfect. love it. I hate things like that. Normally, and I was like, "I'm, I'm gonna mean. give you a compliment on Alaska, or whatever." And I totally forgot. Yeah. Of so course. here it is. Of course, here it is. <laughs> but my thing is now that like you know we we're lucky enough that we've flown enough that we which sucks ass, but we are. Uh, privileged Alaska MVP, whatever the fuck. Sure. And uh, I don't think I'm going to make it again for the year. Oh, dude, this shit gets hard, man. Yeah. But my thing is, now that we get upgraded all the time to first class, it's so nice. But I've looked into it. I'm like, what are normal people paying for this? Okay, no way. It's bonkers. Don't $1,500 even look for a one seat? Fuck off. It's I don't the, understand. The squeeze of my foot saying my love, I don't give a shit. You yeah. don't no. have to do that yet. Yeah. But it, first class is like the biggest... Is it just a, a racket? Like, is it yes. the whole thing 100%. just a fucking joke? Like, yeah. does yeah. anyone actually pay, or is it oh, all yeah. just upgrades? People will pay for sure. I mean, yeah, imagine I, I always kind of compared it to like, you get a polo shirt, it's like ninety five dollars for that horse. You can get the same polo shirt yeah. with no horse for fifteen, right? <laughs> cool guy, Greg's looking cool at Greg me. Knows, he knows. Cool Greg knows. He knows. Uh, <laughs> it's the same as first class. Is is getting okay airplane food with the cool little salt and pepper shakers yeah, yeah. and free booze if, if you don't drink worth the seventeen hundred dollars in upgrade? Probably not. Yeah. Now, if you're flying international, like I flew sure. L.A. to Rome direct for my honeymoon, and one of our guests uh, at our wedding bought us first class seats oh, round shit. trip as a wedding That's gift. Really wow. Insanity. Wow. Shit. Wow. We opened it, and Amanda was like, Jesus Christ. Like, There's a reason we invited them. Uh, awesome. We're in first class. We're on the way there. We're like, we fall asleep for a little bit. We get the thing. 15 hours of first class t uh, pampering is worth it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L.A. to no, New York, it's, it's pretty worth it. L.A. to Dallas, you can do it. LA to Chicago, you don't need first class. It's like LA it's to San Francisco, quick. you definitely you, you don't. That's don't why we get upgraded it. so much. Because yeah. I do think that people are like, I'm not paying I'm not that paying much it. to go from LA yeah. to San Francisco. Right. right. I, I feel like what you're saying, like on the surface, makes a lot of sense. But like LA to Rome, first class. The last time I looked, I went on my honeymoon last year. It was like eight grand. Yeah. No expensive. way that's worth it. Like no, no way. Yeah. What? I, it. You look great right Listen, now. Listen, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's so angry. I was totally <laughs> waiting for the traditional Kevin thing. I'm like, he's doing it, but I was waiting for the wheels to slip, <laughs> slip a gear, and him not be able to keep up. With him. So I got bad. there. I feel you like did. You okay. crushed it, man. Okay. You reward you just, yourself with another cannonball. Come on, come on, come on. I think we're missing what could be the funniest podcast of all time is if we got like a single engine Cessna and we're like, welcome to the kind of funny podcast. Greg's flying the plane, Nick's in the back. He's like, this other. Right. <laughs> I uh, I have flown in one of those planes one time when I went skydiving and yeah, never again. No, thank you. I'm good. Yeah. Those Terrible things are, they feel like they're made out of like balsa wood mm -hmm. and some duct tape. It's like driving your Honda Accord off road in, in like the Sahara. That's exactly what it would be yeah. like. It was, yeah. It's terrifying. And uh, my wife dug it. And the second we got to the ground, she was like, I could do that again right now. And I'm like, I know. No, no, I'm good. No, Once, no. one and done, as they say, I think I nailed it. That is the thing out of, I've known you for so long yeah. now, Nick. The fact that you it's gonna jumped, be awkward. I apologize. Do it. Thank it. you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. The fact that you jumped out of a plane, fourteen thousand feet in the air. Yeah, it's something that makes <laughs> no <laughs> sense to me. Like, uh, I'm at right? The yeah. Well, can I you, mean, Nick's, you Nick's, that? Nick's come a long way. <laughs> but you know to what mean? jump out of a fucking I'm a plane. No, Here's not. what you know you're about Nick. Here's seeker. what you know better than most about Nick. Victim of peer pressure. So you're, his wife wants to do something. He's gonna and like, it's a little scary. It's a little. He's not gonna. I don't know. And not to I mention, mean, she did all this stuff. Come, and the jujitsu helped a yeah. lot. But like, I remember times where you would freak out just being in an elevator. Yeah. And then this year at E3, it was me Oof, and you. That was a tough one. Waiting to go that to some happened. stupid party that we should Oof. not have been trying to fucking go to. Yeah. That was and hard. we were stuck in an elevator. I was stuck in an elevator with How him. How long? Yeah. With a bunch of people for like maybe ten minutes. Yeah, it was bad. And it was. I and was his, panicking because I'm like. 
He's, he's gonna okay. lose it. Like no. this is take very off scary. Shoe, take off your shoe and, then and you were so cool. People. I, I was all right. It, that was not fun. Did Jack Daniels like, dealt with it? Man. You know why? Because it was one of those. It was one of those elevators in one of those old school she downtown LA buildings where the elevator. Oh, like, yeah. how old is this elevator? Yeah. Plus, everyone in it was already like, we're in the party mood. Let's all pack in. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, and yeah. what? What was? What freaked me out a little bit was that nobody knew what was going on. Yeah. So the elevator went up, and it was one of those where it opens on one side and then like or opens on both sides. So they packed everyone on this side. It went up to the balcony, opened up. The guy's like, nope. And then it closed. And that was it. That was and it. there was no one that was like, what are we supposed to do? The elevator did the thing where it kind of go down and then do the... Yeah. Oh, no. Stay there for a second. But that's when you know it's probably... It's probably uh, was it overweight? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got to know no, it's overweight. It but also, the Keanu Look Reeves at the and Daniels are going to show up. That's yeah, true. They got to help us out. The weight seemed fine. Like, yeah. we seemed fine. But it was a thing. There was a ton of people in there. And it was just knowing Nick, I was like... I, I've never been more scared for you where yeah. I was just like, I'm actually worried about him. This is going to be really fucking bad. And like, I was like, do you want, let's just fucking go. And you're like, no, nah, we can, we can stay for a little bit longer to like, I'm like, all right. What's the first thing that goes through your mind? I, I've jumped out of a plane a few times. It's actually a blast. Uh, nice. It's awesome. It's awesome. So first thing that goes through cool. your mind, you're stuck in an elevator. What's the first thing that goes through your mind? Well, I'm going to poop. Yeah. You, you're gonna have to poop. Yeah, I hope I don't have to poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, no, but when Greg has to poop, he has to go. Yeah. There's oh, a, there's those? some sort of I weird trap door mechanism okay. in his bowels that won't let him keep mm. it in. If he feels God, a, a misty breeze on his face, he <laughs> it makes neck. him want to poop. Okay. He's joking around, but no, it's yeah. If I get to chill at the grocery store, I gotta poop. Okay. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, listen. <laughs> Why do I always think it's water on your face like a well, spray bottle? It's happened before that. I'm there in the produce department. And I grab the broccoli and I hear the and it rains on me. I go, oh, no! And I gotta chill. And now I gotta leave. What's the code to the bathroom? <laughs> I gotta fucking park the cart somewhere, uh, leave it with my wife, act like a moron. It's better because I don't wear shorts now, but I digress. Go to your point. What was what was <laughs> what was, what was the first was. time that you guys pooped in front of your significant others? Like, do you what? do you remember it? What do you mean? Uh, not in front, but like at the so like you know at when I house. first started dating, dating mm-hmm. my wife, mm-hmm. and the first like probably five to ten times I slept over, I'd be like. Ah, I gotta go to work. I gotta get out of here. And I'd like and rush out in the morning just to drive oh, home shit, and, and poop. Yeah. 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 No, that was that's always a real thing. Like my wife used to live in an apartment. Well, in San Francisco, every apartment has walls that are paper thin, unless right. it was built like recently. Yeah. My wife used to live in an apartment where you could hear people above you and below you peeing. Mm. So imagine how, with what precision, you can hear me pooping <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah. And I, it took me. For, I mean, I used to. Have, I wouldn't be able to sleep. No. I'd be like, I have to fart. And there might be something else in there, and I can't do any of that right now. The risk of the parp shirt. Oh, God, it's the worst. And we used to have uh, her old bedroom used to be, like, there was a door to the bathroom, but then that that closed. There was another door to the bathroom because it was only one bathroom. Uh So you'd always hear people going in there and pooping, and it was just. It's a disaster. It was a disaster. What about you, Gregory? Oh, early on. Super, really? super early. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I knew I loved Jen so much uh, is that she would talk about pooping. And I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, and yeah you know, and it was like a thing. It's, it's a like, very open thing. Yeah, well, but it's, you know how it is. But it takes a while. We also were long distance. So like, I think uh, our, our second real set of dates, were like, where we met in Chicago. Uh, and we had a great, like, fucking amazing W hotel room. But W hotel rooms are made for fucking models and Stacey Keebler. Right. They're not, like, prepared for me to come in right. there, like, well, I'll just put down some chick wings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, there was no holding Our it soap is green and our toilets are made out of clay. <laughs> Good there, luck. there was one Debbie hotel we stayed at where I swear to God there was just no f- like you walked in and the bathroom was open yeah so like you walked past the bathroom and it was just one little door that was that went to the toilet little stupid sliding doors uh, yeah and it doesn't doors. it doesn't it didn't have any like so it's always a bad sign and I know I'm gonna get into some sort of shit where when I when I click the light button I don't hear a fan go on oh, yeah, and yeah, I'm like yeah. oh this is gonna be so no. bad for my the wife. the first thing I do in that situation is I go check out the lobby bathroom to see yeah. if it's doable because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's not oh, yeah, no see way. I would do that I would do that back in the day on IGN trips uh-huh. me and me and Mark Bozon once showed up to a hotel room and me and Bozon's a big dude too okay. and we walked in and like. So we're shitting downstairs, right? Yep. All right, cool. Like we were just on the same page of that, you know. And then Damon and I takes that shit seriously. Damon and I room forever and ever and ever. And I eventually learned from him to turn yeah. on the faucet. And I was like, oh, that's a good movie. And well, that, that's my thing though. Is like I feel like one of those. The is it Pavlov? Pavlov. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Where it's just like for me now, it's just like well, the faucet's on. I know what's happening, and I can't get it out of my mind. Yeah. You know I'll get I mean? the door open for now. I'll, I'll do the, oh, the I, Nick Scarpino open it, door path. No, I'm down for that. it's cool. Please. No, I'm just no. talking about when we room together. Oh, Which I love is that. quite often, I, I love and that. I appreciate it. It's I fun. think that Greg Miller, life? good roomie. Thank you. Good roommate. Thank you. I, I appreciate see you that. too. You too. I can, see, really I can see all you guys being good dudes. I'm a terrible roommate. roommate. Hotel road trip. I'm a yeah, bad no, no. Nick's not a good roommate. I'll hang out with you, but I'm Nick will walk in literally, and the door, like the door, hits the wall as soon as he comes. He's like, no. 
<laughs> I mean, would you allow him in his own hotel? His own Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. He's uh, particular. He's a particular. I'm, I'm a very man. light sleeper. Okay. So I can't. And these guys all snore like fucking uh, rock stars. Yeah, it's ridiculous. True. Okay. It's true. So I when do not snore. I breathe heavily. I snore. <laughs> he's a heavy breather. He, yeah, he's like a foghorn, and yeah. Tim snores a little I'll bit bad. too. Uh, so I can't, I, just I have can't night terrors, so I don't know what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming in the morning yeah. show. It was great. Oh, man. I had one. Or was it the morning show? Uh, it was no, in, it was the kitchen. in the kitchen. Oh, then we, we got to tell that story. That's fucking great. <laughs> what did you? You woke up and told your tell friend what? Tell your friend. So, all right, so we're, we're, t- <laughs> we're at... <laughs> <laughs> notes for the show are so bad. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh no, there's no notes for the show yeah, anymore, Kev. Don't worry about that. I don't we're gonna wait. Like the another... second I saw, but could go walk in. I was like, "There's no topic." After, so we're gonna, gonna do an ad break after this story. <laughs> so I don't want to like name drop or anything, but I went to the Sundance Film Festival one time. Ah. No big deal. Uh, no, so I, we're we're staying in one of those cabins where everybody is. You know, there Sundance has those like six, seven bedroom mansions. We have like thirty people staying in six or seven bedrooms. So <laughs> a lot of the bedrooms are bunk beds, right? So. <laughs> I'm sleeping in a bottom bunk, and they're, they're, like people are in top everything. And my best buddy is sleeping in the bottom bunk next to me, and he said I woke up, turned and looked at him and go run, run, and then I just went right back to bed. <laughs> and, and everybody in the room woke up, and he looked to the one guy and he was like, oh, "My kooks is one fucked up dude." Dude, <laughs> and there's the nothing goes, more funny. horrifying yeah. than that. So fucking funny. Just as a zombie, look, run, run. And then walk back and just <laughs> fell right back to sleep. So as I, when I first started dating my now wife or any, she would start I had like seven or eight dates in or eight weeks or nine weeks, whatever. She'd be like, I've noticed that uh, you have these these night terrors. And I was like, yeah, I probably should have told you that a little earlier. But they, they, they can get extreme. It's like, no, it's like more like thrashing and screaming. And sometimes you say like really specific things. Then sometimes you grab me. And I'm like, I grab you. And she's like, yeah, one time you grabbed me and held on and screamed, watch out. And I was like, <laughs> what? What is this? But so as we've, you know, yeah, oh as we've dated and then gotten married, uh, uh, she she has cut me off drinking because as I drink, it's like a it's a it's a parabola of it's oh, like it gets the worse. more drinks, the more night terrors, and then gotcha. if I black out, the night terrors just go to nothing, right? Oh, so it's well, like, I feel like at that point, then you gotta fucking feed them the drinks. Exactly. Keep She's going. like, take the computer Pass offline. Out. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, take right? the computer it's off. it's it's hysterical. But so we were at a wedding <laughs> in, uh, in in July, and I had had a lot to drink, but I wasn't blacked out, and she was like. Oh no! And she, I was like, "What? Well, what's gonna go wrong?" She's like, "Your night terrors tonight are gonna be terrible." I was like, "Babe, I was telling myself before I go to bed, I won't have night terrors, and I won't have night terrors." <laughs> I woke up and my wife was not in the hotel room, and there was just a note that said "night terrors," <laughs> and she had left and gone and stayed with her sister and her and her brother-in-law in the other hotel room because she said I like kneeled up in the bed and I was like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I got back down and laid back down to sleep. Like, it's a very active night terror. Like, it's a very, very active night terror. My wife wants to have me do a sleep study at, like, a UCLA or USC you or should. something. You're trying, you're and, fucking possessed. But have them be like, all right, so the only way you're going to get a really good study of them is if you give them, like, a half a bottle of vodka and three shots of Jack and then see what happens. Hey, and man, and they won't sport. do it. Because, like, no, he's going to be completely sober and everything. I was like, you're not going to get shit if he's sober. But if he's I drunk, love it. look out. Here's my question. As okay. someone who follows the Makuga lifestyle mm-hmm. on the social media, as so many sure. of us do, is your wife a saint or as crazy as you? Because I just see the photos of what you put her through and yeah. I'm like, oh man, I don't know. No, she's a saint. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. she's an absolute yeah. saint. What? It's an opposites attract sort of thing. Yeah, Every, there's believe. a yin and a yang, right? I, I Before I dated my wife, I dated a girl that punched me in the head with a bracelet and, and put a scar in my head, but she looked like Rebecca Romaine Stamos, so I like, no, kind of stuck big around trade, good for trade a little off. bit. Like, I was kind of an idiot. And then, I mean, my wife is gorgeous, she's amazing, but she's the total yin and my yang. She has like two rosés and she's like, oh, this is amazing. I'm like, all right, and then I get hammered. She drives home, but she like she puts up with me, and I, you know, make I, it's a yin and a yang. Again, I do a lot of things for her. She does a lot of things to put up with me. It's a, a very healthy but relationship. She does the best things though, because she makes your clothing, and yeah. your clothing is fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Can we pull yeah. up his Instagram to like oh, look at some of these things? <laughs> all right. So wait. So here's go to the go down. All right. So the middle one in that. So there's Sandra D. Go to the Greece one. Go to this one. This was her. That was my wife, oh, Sandra so D. Good in that's Greece, hot. right? 
That's the first time I've put gel in my hair since like 1999. <laughs> like it's, prom it's senior in high school. I also want to point out that her that's, cigarette that's her, not lit in that no, one. No, no. Mine was clearly lit. lit. <laughs> that, that's her company. They put us on like the wedding part of uh, Show Me Your Moo which is a female-only clothing line. But now they have a an X with tie bar, so they made that tie in that pocket square. Mm. Dude, the tie, I was going to say, the tie in the pocket square is yeah, looking dope. Not bad, right? Real, real on point. Right, scroll down a little bit. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Well, there's the mustache pick that, that's, the best. that's coming. That's this my dad and me with mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I told you, Greg, I'm telling you, we could all go full mustache and look real good oh, this no. holiday. Greg, no. sure. No. I'm yeah. totally sure. Down sure. Greg should I, never have a mustache. First off, if I did that mustache, and if you can't, just imagine the dick of mustache, right? Like, I would, like, seriously, I'd walk, on my walk to work from the train past that school, a lot of phone calls going yeah, in. A lot of no, phone calls. I'm just oh, like, no. hello? Oh, dude, the money pants. The money, money pants, pants dude. Money pants aren't bad, right? That's oh. loudmouth golf. Go down. So now, there's the wedding picture. The wedding though. pick. That's me, my mom, and my dad. That was my Look wedding suit. Look at that suit. fucking suit. Yeah. That was my wife's Four company. Then she designed that. Now, yeah. now God, Kevin, I if it. I can put in a request, what I'd like you to do is go to May 5th, oh, <laughs> which God. is my favorite <laughs> Josh McCuga and wife photo of all time. Yeah, May, that, 5. May 5. May uh, 5. Keep going. It's going to go a little bit. We're in the summertime still. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Too far? No, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're going back. Doing great. When we pass the alone, a zero with a line uh, through let's it. Let's see. Let's see what date we got. Oh, there, that's, that's amazing. There's no date. That's August 2nd. Oh, August okay, oh you got kicked by that mule. Keep scrolling. Keep, 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 all, right, all, right, all, right. all right, you're getting closer now. You're going to see a black image on your left. There you go. Uh, a couple rows down. couple rolls down. And keep going. And stop. The one there, down. The one over. The other way. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm there you go. There. Oh, this the is the one. <laughs> this is the one that I laughed so hard at. Jen was like, what? And I had to show it to her. Of <laughs> if you're an audio listener, it's a photo of Josh and his wife. We're in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. It's and she's in a revealing dress, or is that what you call it? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, romper dress. Yeah, Anyways, it, it, but the cleavage is blurred, and the caption is "quote blur it." I want to make it family family friendly. Un, uh, unquote. I don't think blurring it makes it family friendly. I, and I it. was in so hysterics because <laughs> that is just the funniest fucking thing I had ever heard of in my life. On Instagram. Really good. Uh, oh, God, yeah, that's so fucking good. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's a little great. trip. Does she make all your pants too? No, so she, uh, they have done a lot of stuff for us, but there's a company called Loudmouth Golf that is like sponsored me, my show, and everything, and had me wear all their clothes for a long time. And it's like the best. Their stuff is amazing. They're golf. They're actually golf pants, but I wear them for formal occasions. Of course, I wore them for mm -hmm. my. I wore them for our rehearsal dinner, our wedding. I wear them. I mean, the Penn State pants I wear during Penn State games. I, I, they sent me a Steeler blazer, a Pirate blazer. Yeah, it's awesome. When I get married, yeah. I'm reaching out to you to reach out to your wife to yeah. make me a custom suit. Oh, dude, and I'm done being done. fucking. I've serious. got a guy. I've got everything. Good. Yeah. Just for Tim. I can't wait. Yeah. Well, Tim imagines his wedding suit. Let me tell you about our sponsors. First up, it's Blue Apron. If you didn't know, I love Blue Apron. I'm getting a delivery today. I tried to convince my wife to go out on a date tonight, and she said, why? We're getting a Blue Apron delivery. And I was like, can't argue that. Blue Apron, of course, ships you fresh ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions. Everything's pre-portioned, and you get an easy-to-follow instruction manual. You go down the line, you assemble great meals, you cook them yourself, you feel like you accomplished something, and you get to eat it at the end, which is pretty gosh darn amazing. I made, as I said the other day, Tim. Mm -hmm. What'd you make? I was playing the Red Dead Redemption 2 over the weekend, two weekends ago, and needed a break for food. Didn't want to go out. Yeah. Didn't want to eat something terrible for me, but wanted something quickly. Turned out I had in the oven or in the fridge to put in the oven uh, blue apron steak quesadillas and I made them and they were delicious and then when they cooled down and I ate them even later tasted exactly like Taco Bell which I was like oh. this is pretty amazing <laughs> Taco Bell, real good. you choose chef design recipes they deliver seasonal inspired ingredients fresh as well uh, and then you cook incredible meals in as little as 20 minutes every week at least three recipes built to your busy schedule are delivered to you by Blue Apron. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash greggy. That's blueapron.com slash greggy to get your first three meals free. Blue Apron. A better way to cook. Our next sponsor. Whoa. We're, this is how in sync we are. You know what I mean? We've done it. And That's also, a hell of a read right we, there. And <laughs> also, I'm a huge Blue Apron guy. And I was going to say, oh, we God. love Blue Apron so much yeah. that we've said it so much and talked about it so much or, you know. It's all over the place. Blue Apron is like that time, like you said, your wife didn't want to go out to dinner. My wife goes out of town for a few days at a time. Yeah. The Blue Apron is is my only survival. It's like sure. my Wilson sure. on the island is Tom Hanks. <laughs> the box shows up <laughs> and floating with it. <laughs> Our next sponsor, Hymns. But guess what? I don't have an ad copy yet. So future Greg, take it away. 
That's right, Greg, from the past. We're also sponsored by 4 You've heard me talk about 4 for quite some time. Why? It's a one-stop shop for skincare, sexual wellness, and hair loss for men. And guess what? Andy and Nick on the other side are using it. Why? Because they noticed their hair was thinning, and by the time they noticed it was happening, you need to get on it. You need to be ahead of the problem. Once it's all gone... Like, like Lex Luthor, you're screwed, apparently. Uh, so Andy and Nick did something about it. They went to 4 They talked to a doctor there. They sent photos of their hairline. They got uh, the, uh, the, uh, solutions sent back to them from doctors at, at like half the price or whatever of like, you know, what you get from a pharmacy and all that prescription stuff. Uh, this is an easier way to do it. One stop shop. You get in there and do it. It's easy. They just use the, 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 you know, the uh, dot com. They went in there. They got the information. They got what they needed out and they did it. Uh, Hims connects you with real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. Uh, well known generic equivalents to name brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair. There's no waiting room, no awkward in person doctor visits. You can save hours by going to 4 and answering their easy and quick questions. Uh, my listeners have a special deal right now. You can get a trial month of Hims for just $5 today, right now while supplies last. See the website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. Go to 4 slash Greggy. That's F O R A. H-I-M-S dot com slash Greggy for hymns dot com slash Greggy. Let's go back to the past. Thanks, future Greg. Back to Josh McCuga. I have for hymns and I'm also a fan. I, I, I buy into all that stuff. I, you know, I'm glad you do. Thank yeah. you for using our ads. Welcome. I do. I use your guys codes and everything. It's oh. fantastic. I will say the last time I was here, I didn't. F- I only followed Nick on social media because mm. I, that's the only guy. I yeah, knew you didn't know. Yeah. Didn't know. Yeah. You didn't know any better. Now I follow all you guys, and I feel like we're friends, and I like it. Yeah. It's really nice. I've stared at your wife's cleavage, and you know, it's blurred out, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, friends. Yeah. it's a family-friendly yeah. vibe. I have my favorite Josh McCuga Instagram post. We're friends, brother. Yeah. Yeah. We're friends. Oh, yeah. Nick must have a lot of friends. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nick must I got have it. a lot of I friends. Yeah. He stares yeah. at a lot of people on, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. 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 I actually What's don't. people in general? What do you mean? Trust okay, me. Hold like, on. Trust like, me. Hold on. What? Nick Scarpino is an equal opportunity gawker at people on Instagram. <laughs> That's, true. <laughs> That's true. Are we talking just boobs or are we talking about just uh, overall bodies? Over gawking. Cool, there was because there was a time when I, I followed a lot of people just for like the purely uh, just their their aesthetics. And I had to go and unfollow them because I was like, this is affecting my mental state. I can't just follow people because they're good looking anymore. That day. I got to just unfollow these people. It's that Stacey Keebler and everybody else, let's be honest. You know what I mean? Is she Keeps. on Instagram? I don't know. Does she put up Instagram stuff? Oh, oh that's a good I'm question. I'm on it! <laughs> I don't know. Kevin, go. Now, we are earlier didn't even know what Stacey's up to. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the problem. Dude. WWE used to sell those DVDs that were just... The diva divas at the beach. The divas at the beach. Divas in San Lucas. The divas. Thank God, the divas fuck. is dead. Such a. We're weird recording this what thing, right man. right before the all female. No, right view. after it oh, happened. Yeah. Oh, it happened. And dude, you you should watch clips from it. Like, oh, there she is. Stephanie McMahon came out, gave a great speech. Yeah. Like, she's got a kid. I'm conflicted so about this. I know. I'm conflicted I'm about that. Conflicted about click away from that, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, nah, see, that's what I thought. As I see? thought, Stacey Keebler was a mother. Now, is she she's married. I think she's a mother. She's got her life together. Yeah. But again, I wish she could have hung out longer with uh, George Clooney. Made that Wait, happen. what was that cheerleader put, picture? She used to be a cheerleader. Oh, for what team, though? Is it like the Hamilton Tiger Cats? Uh, Ravens. Oh, no. Ravens. How the fuck could you be a Tiger Cat? Holy shit. I, I told you about my vision. I can't see anything. Half Tiger, half Cat? Yeah. Tiger Cat. It's like a saber tooth Tiger. I mean, this, this is what's always these interesting. Very interesting pictures. Wow. What is, oh, it, is she what's interesting the, like, about breastfeeding that? kind of a thing? I, I don't like breastfeeding pictures. It makes me uncomfortable. So I'm saying you don't like breastfeeding pictures? Yeah. That makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, the fucking suck it. All right. It's <laughs> a natural what thing. Why do you care? Let me, let me just say because something about like, breastfeeding. I don't want to stare, I sh- but like. Don't stare. I can't yeah. help it's it. It's a mother a and her child. Oh, yeah, but, right, it's also but there's a boob, also Greg. a boobie there's out. There's also a boob, Greg. <laughs> there's also a boobie. Let me, let let me yeah. side a little bit with Greg. Now I'm the pervert because I'm staring. Exactly. It's yeah. not, all right. It's not my fault. It's it like is putting your a fault. candy bar in front of hey, Kevin. Hey. It is your fault. Your fault. Josh, you don't have, you don't Josh, have to stare. The, right. But I will say this. Let me say this. It doesn't have to be fed at that moment is all I'm saying. Yes, it does. That's how babies work. That's all right. Well, that's how schedule. That's how humans work. You know what I mean? You I will see a say this, though. Stare. I appreciate, I appreciate the women that if you're at like a, a party and things are going on, it's like a dinner party. And it's like, I have to feed the baby, but I want to stay in the conversation. They cover the boob with like a little bit of a blanket. That's there fine. Sure. And I'm not I gonna, respect and that And listen, if, a, if a, it's a woman's prerogative. However she wants to show her body and feed her baby, I'm totally fine with that. Whatever. But if it's at like a Starbucks and there's a woman there like total boob out feeding the baby and there's a lot of people around I just feel awkward I'm not staring at it I just feel like I like, that, I like that's that's like, what I'm oh saying oh no okay okay that's, that's, exactly, that, that's let's all say. back let's bring our voices down Kevin all right let's get bring, bring our voices down Kevin. sorry mm-hmm. I hear what mm-hmm. you're saying because uh, this photo we're seeing of course 
Is Stacy Keebler as a mother with her baby? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, noth- literally nothing's exposed. Yeah. It's our, it's our just, baby just, covering it. Remember, breastfeeding's for the babies, not the daddies, no yeah. matter how cute the daddy is. That's a comment on the Instagram. What does that mean? That's oh, a thank comment you. On the I, 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 I was like, what are you driving at? Okay, yeah. Thank you for saying that for audio listeners. Yeah. They would have been like, what what did the Tim the King by the mule too? Connor B59 on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yikes. Connor. You Yikes. fucking creep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so I can understand that, yes. And now you've given context, Kevin. I will back off. That yes, if at a Starbucks, a woman was to just pull her shirt down, right. put a baby Which to, I have but to there, say, there's a breast. Has just, happened a lot of times. Yeah, yeah but, but, but that, times, it's, it's funny because that shouldn't be like that, right? That's I, I actually thought about this the other day. I was I was shopping out up in uh, Marin, and they have a breastfeeding room that's like yeah. nestled yeah. in the back, but it's like hidden all the way in the back. Like oh god, well, it is again exposing a breast. Here, yeah, I know, I know that, but I feel like I'm like I I get that that is is uh, if if that's the comfort level for the mother, great, but. I can't help but think it's also because the the mall in general is like, oh, let's not encourage people to show nudity or anything like that. Oh, well, I, just, well, I, I think it's completely ridiculous that a, that a mother has to go into the deep depths of a fucking mall just to feed her baby. That is ridiculous. also correct. That's yes, crazy. we are very much talking about Amer- uh, as it's Americans absurd. are hanging like, up Europe, on nudity. Europe, they don't give a fuck. They don't even stop talking. It's just boom, bam. No, get my Starbucks for me. I'm not They're great. My, my, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Again, I'm, I feel like I'm not coming across as an It's not there's anything. I'm not. I, that, I'm coming. I just for me personally, <laughs> if I'm at a Starbucks and yeah. I say woman breastfeeding, I'm just like, oh man, that is kind of. Because you don't want to be. You don't want to be like. I don't want to. You know. Yeah. For us, we're put in a position where it's like, you, we have to make sure you're not looking and you're being appropriate. It's just a thing you just don't weird. see every day. Yeah, Exactly. There's this thing of, hey, like it, right, where I was like, yeah, it's not like she's whipping out a breast in public, mm-hmm. putting a baby to you. And Kevin's like, I've seen that. I haven't seen that. If right. I had seen that, I'd be in the Makuga camp of, yeah. oh my God. Okay, well, don't look at it, but oh my God. Yeah. Did oh, I no. see that woman's like, breast? Wow, I did. All right. Whoops. I, I can't stare I, at it, but I'm also very into It's kind of like when you're in a locker room. I'll compare it to males. Please do. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know where we're going. Go to a locker room. Yeah. Right? It's you and your Buddies, or like you're at a gym, you first time you're at a gym, you go to a Korean spa in Los Angeles, or wherever it is, and there's just a lot of wangers walking around, there's a lot of wieners in your eye hate view. It. You're sitting down in the it. thing, putting your socks on, you look hate up, there's a guy just flossing his ween. You you kind of like, and then you look. Yeah, you, you look, you don't stare, but you see, but you yeah. see it. And that's that's the, the, the situation of, of when it. I go to it's, Montreal, I get I go to these spas. Jen takes me to the spa or whatever. Yeah. Every time there's always a guy down there naked as well. Mm-hmm. And I try not to look, but inevitably I turn around and I see his brown eye. He's yeah. been over doing something. Oh, yeah. something. Dude's I'm ass still still there. I mean, he's what? Gum, but it, like let's just say Next we all Next thing I know we're playing Grease Double. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's weird because like when if I go to a nice spa and there are like guys that are just up there, I'm like, this is okay. But the 24 hour fitness, there's something about the dinginess of the 24 hour fitness oh, yeah. that just enables and empowers guys to fucking be disgusting mm-hmm. and do shit that you would not normally do around other people. And it's got to fucking stop. The drying of the, the balls in the hand dryer needs what? to fucking oh, yeah. stop. This is why I don't work out. Stop. This is why I don't work out. <laughs> stop it. What Your balls do not need no. to be that dry. I can I can give that you some workouts scary. that will take you an hour. If you don't want to work out, that's fine. Don't work out. Oh. But I'm saying you never have to go to a gym if you don't want to see. I, I never thought go to you were gyms. going the opposite direction with it. No. I can give you home this. workouts. You're going to see balls left and right. Like, wait, what's that? Balls. Balls. Ball. I'm no. in, man. Uh, I would I, love to dry my balls with a little. No, you guys, that's right. too right. far. So wait, are know, you? Is it a full on like? Are they thrusting yeah. up to the thing? Are yeah. they, they wearing that? Towel? Or if it's low enough, they'll turn it the other way and and put their leg up on the counter and just let it yeah. dry the ball no, sack off. Fuck or it, I've seen, it. I've no, legitimately it. seen dudes go the full like handstand, leg against the wall. What the fuck Hair is dryer wrong with into, people? Like the butt crack ball area. What you the made fuck that up. I did make that up. Yes. <laughs> this is I was hoping someone would call me out. Tim got me. Yes. <laughs> I love how you're just going along with no, that. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Cool, Greg. Can we get one more beer for, for Big Greg? Oh, my Thank God. You. Let me try the other one. A paleo? <laughs> okay. It's got to stop, is all I'm saying. Guys Which are part? disgusting. Oh, the guy's part? Yeah. Guys yeah, it's part. gross. It's gross. Yeah, breastfeeding. Those, those fucking dryers need to stop, if those I'm are, being honest. Well, they're horrible. Oh, well, now we're in a different... Now, yes, we're pulling off of this topic and being, yes, that I'm sorry, everybody. I We all want the earth to last as long as possible. It's not mm-hmm. worth it. Hand dryers fucking suck. They're Rip them out of the walls. Give me paper towels. All I'm it's saying a, is this. It's an it, opportunity cost, right? Yeah. 
you it, you either take the paper towels and and or they're recyclable and you can somehow recycle these paper towels and actually get dry hands, or you can get the hair dryer and sort of come out with wet hands and then spread more germs because it's you disgusting. haven't wiped off or cleaned your hands. Really, and, and then I touch the inside of the if I this. And let me tell you this something. This thing? Mr. Dyson makes a oh, fantastic man. vacuum. He should have stayed out of the bathroom. Yes. Because mm. I go, hate, I go in there and it's like, oh, it's 99. I'm, I'm fucking touching gross shit. Yeah. I can look in it. I can look in and see it's filthy. I hate it. And, and not to mention, where's it blowing all that shit? And the Everyone accelerator places, is a complete man. ripoff. It's a, it's a joke. Oh, don't even, Kevin. Don't even get me started on the fucking faucets that are also the hand dryer. You don't like that? <laughs> no. What? No, because you like that? Here's here's Kevin, you're an like idiot, as it. proven by your Google foam First and your all, fucking thoughts on breastfeeding. <laughs> I <laughs> said foam, but let me roll. <laughs> I'm just saying, if it's natural, you can't like. Uh, right. But I'm does that not look like it's in the most disgusting bathroom in the world? I don't yes. Fuck, dude. Exactly. Sinks yeah. are disgusting. Public Some dudes got done a handstand and put his dinkle there. Here's here's where it started to go south. It started to go south. That's when horrible. somebody decided that human beings are too stupid to turn off faucets. So they were like, you know what we'll yeah. do? Uh, Nick, we'll take the faucet, the controls away, and put a sensor in. And nine out of ten fucking times, that sensor doesn't work right. Yes. There's, been, sir, there's been times at FSO where I'm like, or, I'm, I'm done. done. I'm SFO. done. I should stop drinking. Uh, uh, FSO <laughs> where I'm like, <laughs> did I die? Did I die on the flight or on the way to this airport? You did it again, where I'm just touching way. everything. It's done. No, the one, the, uh, the plane already we had on the that new Air Canada plane, which is actually a nice oh, plane. Man, there it is. Yeah, FSO. So now FSA. I see what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You knew I'm not it was even wrong. that He's drunk, it. but I will fight Kevin on breastfeeding. I Let's do it. Uh, I just don't get it. Let him breastfeed. No, but like, here's the thing. Like, if people are like, "Hey, it's natural. It's natural for a kid to shit," but yeah, kids shit would, in public all the time. If, if someone in the middle of a restaurant put their kid on the table and change their fucking diaper, <laughs> that's we'd different. be like, that's, that's fucking disgusting. That's sanitary. That's, I, you that's think it's sanitary. disgusting, breastfeeding? I, I don't like it. It makes me No, that's totally different. That's poop on a dinner table. You're talking about uh, breastfeeding, which is a natural a thing. Smell. And you don't want to expose person. Nobody's eating poop, poop to win. All right, yeah. all right, whatever. It's not the same. It's not the same. I went to uh, Gia's friend's, Gia's friend's en uh, engagement party, I guess it was. What did you say? This is an interesting take from Milk Mommy. From the Milk Mommy. No. I don't like it, guys. Gia. Gia's friend's engagement party. I went to went to this thing, whatever. I, I go to the bathroom and she was like, oh, hey, like there's her friend was like the there's a line for the bathroom. You can go upstairs and like use the one up there. Like it's it's my mom's, but whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me guess. Big and, lizard upstairs. And I go up there and I Huge. walk in and it's the nicest fucking bathroom I've ever seen, especially in San Francisco. Like everything was renovated and like crazy looking and like high tech. I sit down on the toilet because when I'm at other people's houses, I always sit you down because yeah. I want to make sure that I don't sprinkle. Yeah. What do you, you know do? I mean. Huh? What do you do here? What your penis? What do you, you do down? here? What do you oh, do here? here? Do you pee I sit or stand down. here? I sit down here. I sit, I sit down, down here too. Because yeah. I, I don't want any doubt that if there's pee, although I don't want to be like it wasn't me. I My favorite thing I, I think wait, of wait, our wait, bathroom. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Go ahead and follow Makuga. They're both like this. You guys sit down to pee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At, at, at other people's places. Or, yeah, you, you, Across the board. No, yeah. not at, not in public bathrooms. I don't want to touch anything. But if it's my bathroom or someplace I know has been cleaned. Of course I said I'm leaving. Are you kidding me? Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. Love it. To be you clear, just lift the seat and then not no. dribble because then you have to touch the underside of the seat, which is where yeah, all the excess foot. shit happens. Use the foot. Use, nah, use a little I'm bit of foot. my foot. Mm -mm. A little foot. Here's right. why. Here's right. oh, I, pee, I pee standing up. It's okay. Here's and that's why I think I, I have an interesting perspective on the office because <laughs> when you, before you leave and you go into pee there, right? Called him Nick. No, I said, well, I, I think I actually cut myself off saying something. He was going to say something about me. That was exactly. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, I, just, well, I appreciate that because like, it's, I'm have, getting confused too. I have too. four cousins that are named Nick. It's not a big Before <laughs> you leave today and you go in there to pee one last okay. time, as one of the few people in this office who pees the correct way, not that I really care, yeah. but when you lift it up and look, keep in mind we have a maid who comes in, right? Okay. And if you ever wanted to judge how thoroughly she cleaned this place, right. look over to the toilet brush because there's very clearly like... She goes up to here and around the toilet, and then there's just like black part of the wall that goes into the toilet brush along the door jam. That if you didn't look, you'd never see. Is that because people's shoes? Is that what that's going, what's going on there? No, it's because just why would she get down and I'll move the toilet brush and clean around there? Oh, I feel uh, you. Um, the point of the story I was saying is I sat down on oh, this toilet and I, and I peed and I looked ahead of me and there was a bunch of buttons. Now uh oh, I'm gonna. Oh oh, oh, is it bidet? So I looked at these buttons and I was like, shells from and, demolition man." And, and <laughs> I was like, I, up. "I think this is a bidet," Otherwise and I'm like, "I'm gonna, I'm here." You know what I mean? Yeah. I got exclusive yeah, access. Yeah, you got it. Upstairs, like the they make me I love them. Those are the fucking best. I so I clicked it, there you go, sir. and it starts bidetting me. 
And I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, you're sitting right And here. bidets are magic. They always hit the exact right oh, spot. And I'm like, cool, this is great. Yeah, yeah. You jack off a little. But Jesus, Nick. But Jesus. then. But then. Just a little. Not I was like, all right, I'm done. And it didn't stop. Mm. I thought like you, every bidet I've ever used just automatically stops. It's like kind of sprays for a and stops, right? This just kept going. So I was like, oh, shit. So I started hitting the button. And it didn't turn it off. It just made it stronger. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and then I kept hitting it, and it like pushed it up to full power. And I'm like, oh my god, this is too much. Was it violating you? And I, I felt wrong. And I, I kept hitting. It. I'm like, oh, it's gonna cycle through. It didn't cycle through. I go into full panic mode. Yeah. Where I'm like, there was like 12 buttons on yeah. this thing, and I'm just trying to fucking hit them. More <laughs> shots start coming up from like different angles. This is the best. Thing and I was ever. just like, what the fuck? So I, I stand up, and it just starts shooting <gasps> everywhere. And I was like, oh, shit. No. You might as well stood up. And I started hitting more, and I, I had to sit back down to block the water. Like this was like my nightmare, right? This is hilarious. And I was just like, fuck my life. And then eventually just stopped. Hey, uh, Harry, I, like, I hope you're not in there. Uh, you're going to the bathroom. The toilet's broken. No, no, I'm just shaving. It's the Dumb and Dumber thing, and you're just blocking. So what happened? Uh, it just eventually shut off. It eventually <laughs> shut off. There was water everywhere. Yeah. I did my best to clean it up using like hand towels, paper towel. No, I, that was one thing. I, was like, I didn't want to use their actual towels and stuff. It's a butthole juice. I did use some. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you <laughs> had to. I, mean, I had to. Only, it hit a point. It. Only so it hit much. The point where I was like, you ever oh, get intimidated by like a fancy person's bathroom? So you're I, like, this was that. Maybe I just go in the shower. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just pee down the drain. Yeah, because there is something to be said about. The amount of effort that goes into some of these new bathrooms, where it's sure. like, oh, there's no water in there. Okay, so what if I have to go number two? What? Who does the? Oh, I don't like that. Oh That's all God, of Europe, yeah. and I hate it. Yeah, I don't like all of Europe. Like, uh, like all these places I've been to, they all adopted the low flow. Like, yeah, you know, you have the two buttons. Like, one's for number one, one's number two. That gets yeah. a little more. But I hate it because I don't like the sound the, of like the slide on yeah. the dry skin. Yeah, you know ew, that the poop oh makes God. when it hits the bowl. And that's an I don't want to hear anything. Nick, you it's half press sound. the button. You got to half press the button. Yeah, yeah. But it's behind like, me. Yeah. Before you, is, it, is that a before you? Yeah, do? yeah. Before you. Do. I, I didn't know that. That's an interesting yeah, move. That's an interesting press move because it, it starts the flush process. Huh? So it no, but then it I get water. I have nightmares of it like not. It, you know how when you interrupt the flush. Oh, Sometimes man. it just fucks up the whole toilet, Shit. and you're like, Recently. "Well, now I have to wait for the tank to refill." Guys, and the smell is a smell factor. It's brutal. Recently, I went to this really fancy uh, like uh, clothing place called Reformation. Oh, in, good for like, you. Uh, the whatever the missionary, right? Yeah, sure. And what? No, no I'm messing with it's fine. <laughs> and I went to the bathroom, and it was it was an intense journey for me. Yeah, it was too and nice. It's one of those things where it's like I usually check. Before, just because I'm so paranoid, I check to see the toilet's working. Like, I'll give it a oh, flush yeah, and be you like, have to. everything's working fine. But I didn't this time. Oh, no. And it fucking broke. Yeah. Oh, no. And I, I had, it's one of those things, like, I gotta went outside go. and I was like, baby, we got to go. We got to go right now. And she's like, I'm thinking about it. Let's fucking buy it. $120 pants. I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. We need to leave immediately. I broke a bathroom at a Buffalo Wild Wings in Cleveland. Yes, you <laughs> fucking did. Yeah. Yes, That's you fucking intense. did. Yeah, I destroyed it. It was... Uh, we had been in Michigan all weekend for a Penn State Michigan game, and we were living in an RV. And I had held poop out for about oh, two and a half no. days. Like it, it was a while. It was yeah. from Friday yeah. afternoon until Sunday morning. So and so we get to Cleveland, and we we're there in time, just in time for like a lunch, like a late lunch. Sure. And I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And there, it's it's a it was an old Buffalo Wild Wings. So there was only one. It was a smaller bathroom. There was three urinals and one stall. Mm, That's it. Just the one like that, stall. Like that, yeah. And so I, I sit in the stall and I and it was just Bad. it was terrible. Yeah. Right? I clog it. I go to pull like lock the door and I pulled the door too hard that oh, the no. screws ripped oh, out. No. Oh, no. The wall. So the whole side of the stall fell on top of me. Oh, I'm no. holding it with my body. I'm holding it with my arm and then trying to wipe my butt while I'm holding the wall <laughs> of a stall while the toilet is clogged. My yeah. brother comes in and he goes, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, ben, help. Hold ben, the wall. Help. Hold the wall. It's finally happening. Ben, help. My other buddy comes in not knowing. He goes, what's going on in here? Oh, my God. Josh. And I'm like, guys, it's clogged. I broke the door. Everything is going wrong. Ben's like, wipe. We got to go. We got to go. Wipe. We got to go. <laughs> we left. My buddy, we left. We just left it. We signed the check, got out of there as fast as we could. 
my buddy who went to college at John Carroll's, which where this Buffalo Wild Wings was, he said he went there two nights later, and then there was caution tape over the bathroom door, and they turned the women's bathroom into unisex. Oh no! Oh my God, that's so. Funny. That's also telling of how many people, how many females go to that <laughs> Wild Buffalo Wings. Wild Wings. Yes, I would have yeah. loved it if one of you had gone out and just before you left been like, "Hey, you're out of toilet paper." In there. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just like, just, just get one guy to go in, just so you can see what the look was on their face when you God. not only clogged the toilet but imploded all of the surrounding yeah. walls. Yeah. Oh, that's God. a lot. It was an embarrassing situation. That really was. See, yeah, I would have owned it. Like that's the thing is, I'm trying to think of any time I've, I mean, I've pooped in public. Obviously, many times. Yeah. Outside of uh, establishments, inside of establishments. Yeah. And I, I, I don't have those stories. It's yeah. for me. It's the act of the poop. Where I'll, like, because in Columbia back when I was going, and I'm mm -hmm. sure it's cleaned up since then, right? I guess people fucking in bathrooms yeah. and doing coke in yeah, bathrooms a is a big it. problem. Yeah. So a lot of bars took the doors off of stalls, mm -hmm. which did not oh, work out no, well for me because no. then I would go to these places <laughs> and be like, I'm going to have to poop here, yeah. and then I, I'm going to have to poop on, and I would psych myself into Hate pooping. So it. I'd have to grab my best friend Kyle Hayes yeah. and be like, Hey Kyle. Hayes. Come stand with your back to this stall while I can shit. And he's like, all right, cool. And he would do it's it. It's like it's Comet Club. The Comet funny. Club is yeah. the worst part about yeah. that. We used to go party at a place in the in the marina called the Comet Club. Oh, I know the Comet Club. Uh, and there's oh, one this. tiny little bathroom for the guys. And it features a, uh, I think it has a urinal and a toilet. If I'm not mistaken, it, it features both, but they're right. Next, but they're like, but there's no divider. Oh, that's always a fun them. one. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's, you always have to squeeze by the person. And there's one at, at least once a night, someone would be in there pooping. And you'd be like, "There's no door into <laughs> any of this." To any of it, dude. I remember one time there was there were there was a girl in there because the girls' bathroom was so packed that she just had to go in yeah. there. And I think she was pooping, and she was like, "I'm I, sorry, I have to do this." I can tell you a story. I'm not going to name the name, yeah. but a friend of ours, that, Gia, that, Colonel, that, that is a James. woman. <laughs> yeah, Stew, uh, big Stew, woman, little Stew, little woman. Stew. She is a Elena woman. Scarpino. <laughs> My mom. Uh, there was a woman that was with us, uh, with with me and you at the the comic club one time. Uh, had to poop, and I'm like. Don't You're not gonna. And she was this. like, "Tim, come block, please. Just oh do the thing, do the Kyle Hayes thing. Stand and look away." And I'm like, "I guess I have to do but this." Did you, was there like, did you hear it or smell it? I mean, it all Dude, happened. That's oh not, not, no, like, that, that's too. Honestly, far. did I hear it? Yes. Did I smell it? Yes. But <laughs> no. See, like, but no, no, I smelled the bar. Like yeah. that, the comic club is. A fucking dirt hole. It's, it's dirt <laughs> like, hole. Nothing that happened in that bathroom added to the smell. It, it was, was there absolutely already. terrible. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. terrible. Seen it. Yeah. Oh. Been there. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tear off, tear off a piece of paper and I'm gonna guess the person. Because <laughs> <laughs> now you've got me. This must have been no. I don't think so. Because this must have like been years. Ago. Greg is legit this is concerned. This must have been years ago. There's no way you're Greg a sleuth. This. You're a sleuth, huh? You, I mean, you like to be I've a Sherlock been, I haven't been to the comic club in years. I know. It's is been it still it's, there. Oh, it's been years. I it is still there. It'll never leave. I can't wait for a moment of silence. Kevin knows who it is. Where is it? Oh wait. Okay, then I then maybe that didn't work out for me. No, no, no. I wish it was this though. Damn it! It's oh, not. Oh, Damn it! Fuck. It's not. Who was well, I mean, if I would have had that information, I would have. I would have. I want to see who it is. I'm, I would have. I'm actually coming over here to see who you wrote. That's what I guess. <laughs> Jesus, this but is I, not I was okay. going no, off no, of a no, different. No, I was her. going off of a different thing. Take it to your desk and you look at it. it the, Once Kevin that. said, that's "Oh, I know," and I was like, "Oh fuck, that's not the right person." <laughs> I see. I don't. I. I don't even know who Tim's talking about. No way. Why no way? Because he has more class than that. No, no, she, she would do that. You need to hang out with her more because she <laughs> is a down ass chick. All right, like no. She, yeah, if she, she has rules with all of boom. us. No problem. I can see her asking for a human uh, door for a shitting experience. Hell yeah. easily. I didn't look Hell at the yeah, name, but easily. I figured. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, once he said it, that was my next yeah. guess. But right, yeah. right, right, wow, right, that's so on, again, like we said, Elena Scarpino. Yeah, <laughs> is that your mom's name. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I gotta hear that story later. His mom's Elena. It's a, it's a solid name. So <laughs> tiny. So topic number fun. one is that you want to be on Jeopardy. <laughs> oh yeah, is that that's the transition? I love it. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, it's been my dream job since I was ten oh, years old. So, again. but so the deal is that. Alex Trebek said he's retiring. He said he may retire in 2020. Okay. Which I figured was my time to start the campaign. Now, right. when you started the campaign, was this similar to any of the dumb campaigns I start that I know aren't going to go anywhere? Or I'm Because, like, for people who don't know, Josh McCuga doesn't just look like Nick Scarpino. Mm -hmm. He isn't just more talented than Nick Scarpino. <laughs> He's, He's very man. successful on the internet and does a bunch of cool internet videos. And you're in L.A. Because, like, that's where the opportunities are. Anybody who wants to make anything themselves is probably in L.A. <laughs> But we'd love to have you guys in LA. It would yeah, be a dream. You know what I mean? So great. We'd love you. So great. We could, we could, we could, we could 
join forces in what it could be the greatest crossover ever. Yeah. It would be amazing. Sure. The synergy sure. of it all would be just, just so out of this world. But are, so, so did you start stuff. this in an RU? Is, is it a real thing or is it like you're fucking around and you use it's oh, cool no, hashtag? No, 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 no. This is, it's real. It's like, I, I look at it as my only opportunity to really get this thing off because one, nobody else is doing it, right? It's nobody sees it as, oh, you know, Alex Trebek may retire. Though, well, they'll probably fill it with somebody so-and-so is that I've been trying to meet anybody and everybody that could help me get to yeah. that level, right? Uh, I started, my buddy Brian Ward did the graphic on it, which I think looks somewhat like me. Um, oh, scroll down, Kev. Bad. What's the, what's the retweet bad. looking like? Oh, man. All right. 21, 69 likes. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't have your kind of numbers. But I think for my no, those are those are those are. I mean, yeah, no, you're doing real well. I I love the logo. I made shirts out of it. I got buttons. I got stickers. I got business cards. I gave them all to you guys. Uh, I went to a Jeopardy taping. I told you guys this this morning. Went to uh, Jeopardy taping. Alex Trebek called me out of the crowd and was like, you know, there's a guy in the crowd that really wants my job. How did he find out? (laughs) So what happened was I went to the taping. The best. And uh, there, the guy, Jimmy McGuire, who's on the, on the Clue Crew, an amazing guy, uh, is from Pittsburgh. I didn't know that. But he was walking around. He had a Steelers lanyard that was holding his Sony ID. And so I was like, hey, you from Pittsburgh? And he was like, go Steelers. And he goes, yeah, I'm from Squirrel Hill. Uh, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm from Upper St. Clair. We kind of hit it off. And he asked me what I, what I had on my lapel. My wife had the button on, too. I said, oh, it's my button. I'm campaigning to be the next host of Jeopardy. And he goes, that's amazing. How many buttons do you have? And I said, oh, I've got a ton. He goes, give me all of them. <laughs> so I gave him all of the buttons. And he put them, he gave them to all the writers, the producer, Johnny Gilbert, who never comes in a studio anymore. He just pretty much uh, records the intro from home because he's 92 years old, sure. was actually there. He put the button on his Holy satin crap. jacket that it's from the first season of Jeopardy. Apparently he's been wearing that same jacket since the first season of Jeopardy. Oh my God, that's awesome. Uh, the girl from marketing approached me. And uh, so Alex, they shoot that show live to tape. I mean, they, when they shoot the episode. And so during the commercial breaks, they come in, they retouch the makeup on Alex and the contestants. And Alex takes questions from the, the, um, the crowd. Right. And so he said, you know, I usually take audience questions, but I have to tell you guys that since we started shooting season 35 of Jeopardy. Jesus. 35. Uh, that, Suck it, Simpsons. <laughs> that there hasn't been an a, a episode that's gone by that somebody hasn't asked me about my retirement. And there's a gentleman here today who has made buttons who really wants my job. Could that guy stand up? My wife grabbed my leg thinking, like, don't stand up. It's somebody else. I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I think it's me. You're like, I'm pretty sure it's me. I'm pretty sure it's me. So I it stand up. It would be an up. amazing coincidence if two people stood up. Yeah. Like, we both made buttons. This mother, and you'd fuck fucking her. fight him. Yeah. Oh, I'd fight his ass. He breaks a whole queue in half and tosses yeah. it in both yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I got nunchucks. I'm going. So uh, he, he's, you know, he says, where are you from? I said, I'm from Pittsburgh, but I live here in Los Angeles. And then he says, do you have any broadcast experience? And I kind of, you know, gave him my my rundown of things which is I've what done. like what are you so <laughs> again, you know we're all chuckleheads who rolled into podcasting but yeah you are like doing things so i uh you have a headshot from i have a headshot 30 years ago it was nice for that. Though, it? <laughs> i gave it to scarpino and signed it that'll be Can on my instagram a little yeah, bit yeah go yeah i'm go bringing get it, it. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. Get it. so um so I, I started, I, I was an actor when I lived in New York and did a couple indie films and did a bunch of like plays and stuff off and off, off Broadway. And then um, I met a guy and I, I told I, and I was doing stand up comedy. I was doing some improv stuff and whatever. And I said, you know, this is what I want to do. And I met a guy who was an agent out here in L.A. And he said, you need to get to L.A. Like the, the, what you're doing here is you're only going to go so far because you need to have a voice. You need to sing. You need to dance in New York. So I went to L.A. on his thing. And I knew I always wanted to live in L.A., but my parents wanted me to stay closer to Pittsburgh just in case something happened. Right. Because. Mm-hmm. Italian, everybody's like, yeah, 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 don't yeah. go far. Yeah. <laughs> number one, ballpark. And I'm going to give you both before you answer. Okay. Ballpark, number one, how long ago was this? Like, when did you move? And number two, have you seen the movie Little Italy? Because I just watched it the other day, and I feel like I know your family. <laughs> Little Italy is actually a very well done movie. It's pretty spot on. Like, it's, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it's, Kevin, can, that's you, the Kevin can you give me the one so we can see this? There he is. is. <laughs> this is it. You look a little like Eli Roth in this. Yes. Oh, I've yes. heard yes. Eli Roth before. Which is crazy. I've heard Eli Roth before. Josh, this, of course, will be on yeah. my Instagram a little later. If you guys people, more, than, more than one person has told me I look like Eli Roth in certain pictures. So what? Now. about what time? What, uh, this what? was 2006. Okay. So I was there in 2006. I moved out to LA in 2008. And... Uh, like hooked up with Mark Ellis and those kind of guys Hot. doing a bunch of uh, stand-up stuff, you know what I mean? And like my stand-up was going really well. I was touring, I was doing you know college gigs and going on the road and stuff, and it became very lonely. And I'm a very guy that likes to be around people. Like I'm not, I don't do well in that situation of you know 
being lonely and miserable, the comic life on the road. I, sure. didn't, I didn't sign on for that. I signed on to make people laugh, not to be like miserable in routine gigs. So I got back to LA and I was just like, this is what I want to do. And so I started hosting shows, started doing podcasts, uh, was, you know, it basically started my own talk show at the improv. Improv Lab closed. I started in my apartment, started hosting that show. I uh, got in with Collider, got Schmoes No, kind of started to blow up a little bit. Uh, I got, I hosted a show on the Travel Channel for a minute called Epic Happy Hours. I host a movie night on WGN America. Now, uh, as you may see, I, I've written down here yeah, WGN. WGN. We're going to double back to that because as a Chicago boy, there you go. we need to talk about that. So uh, I hosted an after show for the show Outsiders, which was like a show about mountain people in West Virginia and Kentucky. It's, it's actually, I mean, it's not based on a true story, but there are these mountain cultures that live off the grid and live in, outside these small towns. They shot it in Pittsburgh. So I did the after show and that was a WGN America show. So wait, is it like the Talking Dead? Yes, the exactly. Dead? But it was right. for the outsiders. For, but like, it's called Outsiders. How, it wasn't called how many outsiders. people are watching that? Is that a, is there an audience for an after show? For there that was. Show? I think on a lot of the Facebook Live videos, we're probably getting like 40, 50,000 people at a time. Wow, okay. Like on Facebook Live. I'll take it. You know, because they have like 1.1 million followers on Facebook, you know, WG in America. Yeah, yeah. And so when that show ended, uh, they were looking to do a dinner and a movie kind of a situation. So they hired me to do their dinner and a movie with one of the co hosts from the Is that outsiders. the peas and cornbread? Do, 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 do. Just kind of like that. Is it that? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's the okay. like the in between the movie kind yeah. of situation. Yeah, it's like the interstitial. I missed that. Well, yeah, it's peas and cornbread. I don't know. Like I, the dinner in the movie. Like I don't remember what channel it was on, but there'd be like it'd be every it was week. CBS, I think. Maybe it was CBS, yeah. but there'd be a movie they play, and in every commercial break, there'd be like people like Makuga, who, who I almost wish it was you. Like if you right. were just like I was well, I, the peas and cornbread guy, right. I would have fucking. Lost I don't remember my mind. peas and cornbread. I remember the there being a movie, a show like this on FX or whatever. FX movie download. Which Same kind of situation. It had the guy who lost to Jesse Camp to be the next MTV VJ, Dave uh, somebody or other. Oh, Dave Holmes. Yeah, that's him. yeah, yeah. So um, there. So we've I been also doing remember that for the frog like, from WG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you don't remember <laughs> the peas and cornbread no, song? No, I don't. Do you remember the peas and cornbread? Uh, the Thank you, Cool Greg, for being a normal person. The frog was WBTV, wasn't it? Really yeah, cool, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, you're right. But I'm thinking of the one. Yeah, you in in the Chicago suburbs. You got it, Sven Gulli. So WGN is headquartered in Chicago. Have Instagram you met Sven if you want. I have not. Okay. No. Give it a like. Uh, but WGN America has an office in Los Angeles. We shoot the show in LA. We do, I mean, it started as just a few movies, like one movie a week, but now we're, if there's a movie playing on the show, on the channel, we're part of that movie. So okay. I'm, I'm on there pretty much all the time. And, you know, I work at Collider kind of full time, but have always... This Jeopardy was my dream job since sure. I was ten years old, right? I told. Sorry, you a religious morning, watcher? You oh, watching every day? Haven't missed an episode in Holy probably twenty five years. All right. Yeah. DVR it. Used to How tape many times it. is Jeopardy on per week? Is it it's like a daily times. thing? Yeah, it's a daily. It's a syndicated okay. show, and then they have old episodes that they play on Saturday. So if you forget old episodes and you tune on on a Saturday and you catch a Jeopardy, oh man, you feel good. You feel pretty good. Let me yeah, ask you this question: How much could do you think at this point you could fuck with your friends? If you guys were all just in a setting where Jeopardy was on, could you think you could answer every Groundhog's question? Day. Like Groundhog's it's Day. like Groundhog Day. If it. Like old episodes. Oh, if there were old, old episodes, episodes? could oh, you be like, uh, Lake I'd, Tacoma? I'm at about 50 to 60% retention. Wow. What? On those. That's wow. impressive. Yeah. And it, it's a very like uh, family oriented show for my family. So my brother didn't like it very much, but he also played sports. So they he would practice until all hours of the night. But my mom, my dad, and I would battle in Jeopardy. And then my grandma would battle in Jeopardy. And I would stay with her in the summer times. And she would keep a chalkboard of how many she got right and how many I got right. That's good. And it would, That's be, good grandma. It would be a grandma versus a 10 year old or 11, 12 yeah, year old. Did you beat her ever? Never. Are you kidding me? She was a librarian. She would do the crossword puzzle in pen. She was like oh, a Oh, that's hard as fucking crazy. nails. Yeah. Yeah. Also, don't do that, people on airplanes. Yeah, you ruin the Skyway magazine. Yeah, the Skyway magazine. They always fucking do it. I'm like, you up. clearly got this one wrong. Do me a favor. Four if down. You are a person, a if you're a person who does the crosswords on the Hemispheres magazine, Swallow your phone. I'm sure you're listening right now. Get up and open the door to the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Like, fucking bring any form of entertainment. Something. If you get there so you're like, fucking excited to see where we go. <laughs> Like, Just what? excited to see what happens. <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. Hemispheres. Takes the pen out of their briefcase, I have to imagine. Why goes, do you want to read about Robin Wright Penn's adventure to Congo? But Stop I reading just, the magazine. Did she go you to the just, <laughs> I was watching Unbreakable <laughs> last night, so she's on my head. But here, here's the deal. I, I, look, I, I do it now as a matter of just, just to see if I'm right, and every single time I flip that fucking crossword puzzle, someone has attempted, I say that yeah. loosely, to fill that thing out. Mm. And so then someone else scribbles it off. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Like that other person's ever going to see it. Right. Yeah, I ridiculous. try to touch as few things in an airport airplane you're, as possible. You're, you're weirdly too germophobic these days. No, I'm right with Greggy. Too much. 
I, I'm not a big germ guy. At what all. you guys have to do to and get over it is go <laughs> touch every surface of the plane. Put your hands right in your mouth. No, mm -hmm. just do it. Are you kidding me? The amount of hand sanitizer that I consume on my in, in, through my pores on a daily basis hasn't been bothering you that I've used my hands for the ice because I was going to ask you that question. Didn't notice that. Well, I'm sorry, but you didn't do it. Vodka has killed all the germs. Yeah, that's no, right. totally. That's what that calls about. I have a question for you, John. Go. Wheel of Ten. Fortune. Like, do yeah. you fuck with it or do you got beef? No, uh, there's no beef. I think it's a it's a very smart show that has somehow turned into America's game. I'm not really sure why, but it's, it's yeah, there's football. beef, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> fucking beef. <laughs> I, I like. I, I honestly enjoy Wheel of Fortune. It is a difficult game to like, I, I like see. I mean, it's it's a crossword now, uh, but there's something about the actual game of chance that I don't like. I want my, it's not my a skill stuff controlled. Game. Yeah, yeah. I want my stuff controlled. I don't like the fact that you're like you're crushing it. You you were definitely gonna get it right, and then you hit bankrupt. I don't like. It's that. like roulette. It's, yeah, it's dumb. I, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. But Jeopardy has always been like the family game. It's always been, and my wife didn't know that. You know, marrying in where we would, I would say I'm gonna pick you up at seven thirty. She's like, I'm gonna eat dinner at seven thirty. Like, well, have, Jeopardy's at seven. You guys have so another I family game where you have to like throw shit at a at a yeah, trash can. <laughs> you guys have a lot of family games. I told you guys about that on the last show. We, we throw the empty beer cans into the trash oh, cans yes. in the yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, the deck toss. Uh, it's a very, we make trophies for a lot of things in our family. Oh, yeah, you do. I, I love yeah, you. Do. There's a Parcheesi tournament. It's a family vacation every summer. And if you win, you get your name on a Parcheesi trophy. I mean, it's like a thing. <laughs> it's it's a thing. But <clears throat> I started this campaign not as a joke or anything. Like, this is my dream job. This is why I got into doing this. I told my mom when I was 10 years old, I either want to be Alex Trebek or a regular at a bar. Nick knows I'm already a regular at a bar. You're a lot of bars. I saw I, this in the morning show today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I want. I mean, I Jeopardy is the dream job. That's what I want to do. We went to so. Barney's Beanery, and I swear <laughs> to God, I have never felt like we. There were just random people there, not people that worked at the bar. Random patrons that knew Josh. Not like oh, I kind of like intimate details about Josh. They like know him there. It's crazy. I mean, dude, there was one great. point when remember when the waitress came up, ran and did like the dirty dancing yes, up to me, and yes. we walked out and you're like, does it, is every waitress do that? I was like, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think she's just really excited to see me. I don't, I but the minute. bartender almost did that. The yeah. other bartender knew you, and then yeah. the people in the bar, I was like, you're you're like a celebrity in the bar, and you're also a celebrity like outside of the bar. <laughs> well, just because I smoke cigarettes, and that's, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> that that's fair. Still, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I, I gave him up. Wow, you yeah. guys are the same person. It's I know. He, well, he smoked way more than I did. We've talked I about it, but lot, I do yeah. miss him sometimes. He smoked so much. He was so I used to be cool so cool. Yeah. God, I was so fucking cool about oh, him. He was so God, cool. He's lame now. Look there were so many times where I'd just be like, you know what? I want to smoke a cigarette. Pull my car over. Smoke a cigarette. Yeah. Wow. God That's damn, so that cool. is cool. That is cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. It is cool. Just middle of a neighborhood, pull that it over. Cool. Get that out of the car cool. with my Starbucks, smoke a cigarette. People walking by with their kids. What are you gonna fucking do? I'm outside. Oh jeez. Smoking a cigarette. Honestly, like what are you gonna fucking do? Greg just kid. <laughs> Why does Cool Greg have a barcode on him? Uh, cool Greg rolls that way. Uh, it's Snow Black Mike t-shirt. No, he probably. I gave. Why cool, is there a barcode? It's probably cam on the t-shirt. People want to try to bite off me. You know. Yeah. Okay. Dope, sure. I gave Cool Greg a f ton of stickers. I will put them up. So. Yeah. What can kind of funny best friends do for you to help you on this uh, Just, journey? You know, uh, if you tag Jeopardy and at Josh McCuga on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and say, you know, I want Josh McCougar to be the next host. Take a picture of you with the button. I give you guys business sure. card stickers, whatever. Do you make this shirt in black? Because I'd like a black one with the white. I logo. will send you the black one. Thank you. I'll take the no gray problem. one. I like Heather okay. Gray. I have a lot I of weird curves. I like to hide with yeah, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we, I have a tea Public set up that you can actually, and if fans want to buy them too, I can send out the, the tea oh, yeah, Public totally link that. too. Can we put that in the description, Kev? Yeah. Um, yeah it's just I can send that. the tea you Public link. I'll remember to get it from him and then tell Sober Kev. I love that. No, I'm, call. I'm, dude, I'm call. here. I can I'm email here. it out. <laughs> dude, I'm here. <laughs> and then, <laughs> the hashtag is easy. This is the guy showing has a picture. Hashtag, hashtag Josh McCuga for the number four Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah. If it was four FOR, it just was too big for the button. So Here's the thing, man. Big. I'm going to tell you this, and this is real. Okay. There's nothing I appreciate more than someone campaigning to host things. The okay. Hustle. Okay. There it is. And hashtags work. These things happen. And uh, we got the kind of funny best friends out there. They're gonna I rally. just Thank feel like this go down. you're the obvious choice. Who else? That's the thing. Do you have competition? Wants to host Jeopardy. I don't know. I mean, everybody thinks that Ken Jennings is probably fuck gonna be Ken the Jennings. Next, next host. The guy who fucking won forever? Yeah. No, no, no. Fuck that um, guy. Is all I, I don't know who he what is. What is he doing? Is I he a teacher? teacher? I don't know is he fun? He, Does he know what he's doing? He's, he's a he writer. married to Stacey he's a funny Keebler. Girl. I don't know what he's doing. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I lost the job to Stacey Keebler, that's the only person I would be okay with it. Stacey Keeler does not fair. want to host it. Don't even say that, though. Don't even say that. Don't put that idea in anybody's head. Sorry, when is this happening? When is what happening? 2020. 2020. It's, it's possible what he 2020. said. He's going to So we've we'll got, I've got all kinds got of things years. in the mix. You know, I have, there's a, a cool teaser video that we shot that's up on my You
Um, nice. I'm, I'm starting sooner or later. I'm going to start a Josh Brady podcast. It's just going to be called Josh Brady, a Jeopardy podcast. We're going to talk about like Jeopardy of the week and then going to ask people questions. Just like straight up my Jeopardy questions kind of a situation. Just a one-on-one podcast. You are double, triple, and quadrupling down on this. And I fucking appreciate it, man. Okay. This, this is my goal. This is ambitious. Make this. Like I, we don't have ambition. I, I get office. it, man. I thought we did. I we, thought we, we did. Not according to this. He's got a vision. He's got a plan. And he's he executing. Wants to you guys work hard. Jeopardy, dude. Wait, wait, what were you pointing to? The video wall. We got a video wall. We do have a video wall. A now Issa Minaj has a nicer it's, one. I will. Yeah. I, honestly, I've never looked from yeah, there you yesterday. at something more beautiful than this. Honestly, earlier today. <laughs> wait, real quick. <laughs> earlier today, Josh, you were like, Man, it's so cool. And it's one of those things where I, I was it. like, I do. It is cool. It is, it is cool. I'm it super cool. happy about yeah. it. It is cool. But we, you know, what have we done for ourselves lately? I'm just saying. You were in the Spider Man video hey, game for Christ's sake. Sure, yeah. You were. I mean, kind of. We do a lot of cool stuff, but he just likes to throw some. No, I'm just saying. No, you know, he didn't, what, good what, have we, what have we done for ourselves for the last two hours? Take off your shoe, Lena. That's what he says every time. No, I really, ho- I really hope you get this. I really Thanks, do, man. and I think I you got a shot at it because what's the other guy? Ken Burns. What the fuck's his name? Uh, there's Ken, Ken Jennings. Ken I mean, Burns. No, this I'm is, leaving documentaries behind, and I'm fucking hosting. Jeopardy. I'm just saying. Listen, if anyone out there is a producer or, or is, is, is someone in, in charge of Jeopardy who's going to make this decision, all of those people, I'm sure they're perfectly lovely human beings, very familiar with Jeopardy. Josh is going to take it up a level. Okay, where everyone knows Jeopardy, nobody knows what that is. Josh is going to put it back on the map. Back on the map. You want the younger generation? You're probably not going to get it. But Josh will make all the rest of the show super, super fun. Right, Thanks, man. It. So wait. And I, and Jeopardy I said is on is ABC, it. right? Well, it's it depends on the affiliate. It's owned by Sony, so they sell it to affiliates. So in my oh, town, okay. it's ABC. I want to say it was NBC in Chicago. It's NBC Here Chicago. Here it's ABC, though, right? Here ABC. Cal- I think it's mostly California, it's ABC. Pennsylvania, it's NBC. If Midwest. you become the host, do you think you'll be friends with Chris Harrison? I... I mean, sure. I watch The Bachelor. Why? Do you have something you want me to talk about? I want to Chris be Harrison? Chris Harrison. Okay. I want to hang out. I, I want to be Chris Harrison. Harrison. I can yeah, actually. You should. You'd be like, amazing at that. I can. Oh, I can actually line up a Chris Harrison meeting if you. If, if you, 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 if for you real? if you give me a couple days yes. before you come to LA, okay. Let me, let me see what I can do. I, I need to hang out with Chris Harrison because we've. I've become friends with a lot of like the Bachelor Bachelorette crew. It threw weird. You know, it's oh, they all live in LA now. They, he's I love a, he, everyone loves Josh. I love. How can you not love him? He's amazing. He's amazing. I love you better, Nick. I love the, the best. We used to say Carboni. Carboni compared to him, blown out tire on the highway. <laughs> I said, you know this I mean? Nobody said. wants them. What I, what I no tell you, Tim, what I say, here. if I ever die in a freak accident, don't even tell anyone. Mm-hmm. Just ask Josh to come on the show. Forget about it. But what if we Call just ask Nick. you to leave? <laughs> That's a possibility. <laughs> I would do that to the man. As a person, man. being perfectly honest, I would abs- absolutely abdicate. I would do it. I love this, man. I, I love you, man. And I love all you guys. I we really do. I love this, man. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Josh McCougar, everybody. The next Jeopardy host. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Your Jeopardy host. Is that That's what I'm calling The show's yeah. wrapping up. I okay. usually go into the rigmarole. I do all these different things. Okay. The this rigmarole. Is, I've, this is very much a tease okay. for the people watching live and the people who want to go to patreon.com slash kind of funny yeah. and support us at the $10 video level. Or level. We're about to go into the post show. I'm going to tell... A horrifying story oh, no. that I've never told before. God, is it about me? Pertains to everything we've talked about today. No, is it about it, me? No, it is not. Uh, Thank God. Nick, trust me. This is something I've wrestled with for a while. I, can't wait. I and this is not a Greg Miller. You're going to get to the end. I'll be like, I was just joking. Blah blah. Like I my have grandma's a raccoon. A <laughs> 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 Greg Miller was the sick raccoon all along. I have a horrifying story oh, that pertains oh, to things we have talked about yeah, before in this, this. show. I'm do it, yeah. and we will get there. Kevin, back to the wide. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four. Sometimes three best friends gather on this table, each Shit. bringing. It's fine. You'll get there one day. Fuck, Your third appearance. You'll nail it. I'm trying it. Uh, each bringing. Scared. A rant. Oh, you should be. You should all be. You should all be scared. Is this okay? (laughs) I've told. (laughs) Do you want to know how many people know this story? One, my wife. Uh Because I had to tell somebody because I was embarrassed and horrified. You were embarrassed. Me, Greg Miller, was embarrassed and horrified. Uh, Fucking anyways, we have all these different topics. You know, come to the show, we do it. Patreon.com slash kind of (laughs) funny. You can get each and every episode early. How early? You could get it live as we record it with the pre and post show. Or you could go to patreon.com slash kind of funny uh, on Friday. We post it as an MP3 and then as a big video, the big video has the pre and post show. So support us there. If you don't want the pre and post show, you don't want to support us. It's no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kind of funny or podcast services around the globe. The next Friday, it all goes up one week later. Uh, we are ready for this thing. Everyone's been drinking. Uh, Josh McCuga. Yeah. 
We still love you. We I, still think you're amazing. We you. think you're awesome. Oh no! Well, Everyone should support you. Hashtag Josh Check. McCougar for Jeopardy. Uh, you should send more shirts. We love them. Okay. But I love you so much. I love you. Until love- next time. Oh, you got more to say? No, no. I, I, I love you, you all. Keep talking. <laughs> you want to keep talking about <laughs> Until next time. It's been our pleasure to serve you. Thanks for watching the Game Over Greggy Show, everybody. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here for a playlist of Game Over Greggy Show episodes. Click here to check out Kind of Funny Games. And click down here to go to our Patreon.